<laughs> Welcome to Curse of the Crimson Throne session. Oh god, I just said it. Session five. Hey, this is the session where shit has already hit the fan and you now um figure out what to do about that. Yes? Yes. So everybody go to two hero points except Matt. Bro, how is it my fault? You, you, you I was silent uh -huh, this time, and you uh -huh, forgot the session uh -huh, name. You cocked uh -huh, it up on your own uh -huh, this time. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. Yeah, that's what you get. Curse, curse of the Crimson Throne, baby. <laughs> Hit with the cuff. Matt, do a recap for Hero Point. Go. He's got a treat. Wait, what? Okay. He needs a minute. So, dear YouTube viewers, they, he interrupted me while I was eating ice cream, and I had a fat glob of it in my mouth. Is so that ice cream? That looks like fried stuff. chicken. Um, so what I've got is um, what I've got is chocolate ice cream with chocolate topping lathered on top, and then I'm using Milo on top of it as well. Wait, did What's did anybody one? see when he posted up on the? Yeah, thing? Like it looked like fried chicken. It looked like fried chicken. Oh. It still looks like fried chicken. What? Hold on, hold on, let me turn off the video oh, back Paolo, who eats fried chicken with a spoon? I You'd be arrested. Look, see? It's ice cream. That does look amazing. Okay, it is that delicious. looks really good. It almost came out of the ball. I almost did that fucking Tyler guys, one thing where he guys, was like... We have we have spectators. <laughs> Come on, give me the recap, man. All right, okay, as, so, as, uh, um, as an administrator of this server, I have to justifiably rule as, as, a, as an admin of meats and cheeses. That's that's fucking fried chicken, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna start this session. It's gonna be like five in the morning for me. <laughs> he just looked at me. And Pablo's gone. We we broke him. Oh, he's gone. We broke him. The session hasn't even started. Yet. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's All go. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, so, dear YouTube viewers, at the start of last session, we were in the grieving process. One of ours had fallen, and we had known him for a whole one and a half sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, <laughs> um, so we lost her, eaten up and gobbledied up by Mr. Gobbledygut. It was a tragic tale that not even the elves that Santa is enslaved could could match. Ow. We checked the area, and we discovered that the bastard Gadrin had escaped through a hatch that we couldn't see because Pablo didn't tell us to roll perception for it. Now... <laughs> I told Prez very, very, very clearly. Well, then, Prez died. I guess, yeah, that's fine. Sorry, continue. Now, as they arise, we're ready to hunt for Gadrin, who had so clearly, so desperately just escaped from the jaws of death, which Prez did not. Um, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Aaron. I feel like I'm taunting you at this point. Please don't take it that way. Um, they rose up and they looked onto the city. The king is dead! The king is dead! Long live the queen! The queen's a fucking harlot! Um, that was chaos. Good, Matt. That, that was, was great. Good, yeah. Bad love. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a bard IRL. Um, as, we, as, as they arose, we saw the city in flames, in turmoil, rioting on the streets. Um, from only what? From only what Detective Lang can assume to be uh, people that were for the king, uh, for the queen, and people that were against the queen. And it was total chaos no one was safe um a lot of that was clearly classes uh, like classism was running rampant um the sections of the city were locked off as the eastern bridge shut down leaving us unable to return to durgan's tavern to check on his friend as we had for so many of us 
we went on one by one by one, running along a curious gnome inventor by the name of Festus. And no, that is not the Fallout New Vegas vending machine Festus. That is a cool old man Festus that doesn't give me a deputy's badge as a reward. And he had all these curiosities. A little baby spider called called Fidget, and a big, big beetle that I can only assume he's going to ride into battle called Gadget. We went along. First to Caden's place. We investigated it, and it was empty. The woman he was looking for was not there. Then to Aiden's, his assistant Hale. She was alive, she was well, but obviously scared. And his very dilapidated house remained untouched, probably because everyone assumed that it was a shithole and nothing was going to be in there. Yava had no home, so we just kind of skipped her. Um, Festus's shop, while he was guarding it, he chose to selflessly selflessly come with us. Durgan, unfortunately, as I said, is unable to get back to his place currently. The fate of his companion remains unknown for the meantime. And Elijah. Poor, sweet, innocent Elijah. The, the voice of our land. The man who did not deserve the, the ill ailments that had fallen upon him. His house was burning, the theatre was ablaze, and as he rushed in, he hastily collected some valuables and he found a note. From his lover, from a friend, I'm not too sure on the relationship, however, he found out something most dreadful. They had gone to the king's castle on the day of his assassination to continue a portrait. And now their fate too remains unknown, and while others have certainty, about their safety due to the location, Elijah simply doesn't believe them. At least, not from what uh, we've seen. And then the Star Trek Next Generation theme rolls up as like we get into it. Sorry, sorry. What, what was that? The end of the recap? Is that what you meant? Yeah, it was the end of the recap. That we had the intro start. That was the end. Of, that was not the end of the recovery. You went to the Temple of Almaday. What was it? Major... Oh fuck! I forgot Priz. I mentioned Priz got murdered, and I forgot about Priz. We also went to the Temple of Iomaday. Stop the intro cards. Um, we also went to the Temple of Iomaday where we deposited Priz's body. And while funerals are expensive, what they did was instead preserve the body, so that way Priz could rest in peace. Or perhaps so she could rise again. Also, and then y'all, you keep... y'all rolled up into my shop. Don't forget, you had a dead body, and your other friend was also real short because she was just a head. Mm-hmm. We We're going to ignore that because carrying. this doesn't paint us in a heroic picture. Still We're going to ignore that. Delilah's All this. <coughs> Do you see oh, this? Uh... Do you see this? This is this is the carpet. The, this right here is the carpet. I'm getting all of this shit. And I'm putting it under it, and I'm placing the carpet thought, down, maybe we and we'll talk ignore about it. The fact that you rolled up in my shop with a dead body and a head, and I still decided Shh. to help He's you. Like, all come out. on, Shh. come on in. Shh. Aaron, Look you can't see it, but I'm pressing. Aaron, you can't see it, but I'm pressing my finger against your lips on the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, was, that was a weird night for us all. All right, guys, please. <laughs> Please. Uh, hey, I'm going to play some Temple soundtracks. And we ended the session as Isolde reached down and touched Priz's forehead and cast Gentle Repose. All right. So, um, which you know, she did that, and that's fine. Hey, you we're stopped at this point in time. We are going to resume. What would you guys like to do? So I actually have something I want to... Right? Uh, you can choose to hand wave this moment and go to sleep and start... Oh, I don't know. It just said it was at 8.45 a.m. Uh, so. That's because I pre-prepped and then I realized later that it's still the same day. So it's still yeah. 11 no midnight. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I do have a question. Because I was thinking about it. While they're walking towards the Temple of Iomaday, 
uh, because of Durgan's pr uh, predicament, would I be able to roll an Underworld law to try and figure out... I can't remember if I did this last session. Um, to try and figure out if I know any contacts I could possibly... Or at least know about someone that could possibly have like a secret opening towards the city. Or towards that side of the city. Mm, I'm going to say you can roll me society. Roll you society? All right. Society first. Okay. <laughs> Matt uh, or Aiden, the thing is, uh, first and foremost, it is pretty late at this point in time. If you wanted to get Durgan there, uh, getting him through, there might potentially be one, but not off the top of your head. The first thing is what you I want to tell you. But what you do know is that these riots will calm down sooner or later. Opening those bridge, that bridge will eventually be open and Durgan can check. Um, if you wanted to try to go there tonight, other than the fact that it's almost midnight, which would exhaust you all, the riots are in full swing tonight and you would just be in more trouble than it is worth. So. I mean, y'all can y'all can take off if you want. Uh, Gadget can probably carry another corpse or two back if we want to bring those your corpses back here and just have them hang out, join your friend. Oh, I was oh I was mumbling again, wasn't I? I was just, you know, was one old person to another. You know, I see you. you I hope you, you feel seen. Me. <laughs> well, I see you, Festus. No, I was I was just thinking. I think if we go to sleep now, we can wake up at the crack of dawn. <clears throat> and that we should be able to try and get over at the gates. By then, I feel like a lot of the fighting will be toned down for a bit. I don't know if it'll start up again, but it feels like this might be a nightly occurrence for a while. Oh, well, all right. I mean, what what what's the plan? You, you got uh, this lady here said you could get get some gold and pay for your friend to come back. I don't I don't know about the shorter one. She's she's real short. You might need to find the rest of her body. He like looks at the head that he's just had clipped under his trench coat the entire time of the year goes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm resurrecting this one. Um, right, well I didn't want to say too much but it is a little little bit little bit kinda uh carry your head around around on your belt. Maybe maybe you wanna you know, you know, I leave that somewhere. Here, yeah, tell you what. After we've got, got settled, 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 me and you will off side for, side for a bit. I'll we'll have a couple of smokes, and I'll, I'll explain to you what the happening is because I'm not just carrying a fucking head around for no reason. But I mean, I don't kink shame. I just, you know, I like to know what I'm in for. You know what? I'm gonna pull off for a smoke. <laughs> That synchronized face pop was beautiful. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. All right. Is Lang is gone. He's gone outside to have a smirk. I'll use a charge. He was done so well. He went like 20 minutes with that one. <laughs> Um, Stressful night. Sam will, you know, well, oh. she will be very sad as the orphan that knew Prez and turn to y'all. What happened? Um, she had a bit of an accident, that's all. She died. It was very brave, yes. Uh, very brave, and she saved. Uh, all of us. Mm hmm Indeed. She killed the crocodile with a few hits. I saw it myself with my bloody eyes. She was a right. brave lad. Alas, but yeah, it, she did really well, and we're all so proud and thankful for her sacrifice, and so she, she dies a hero, and we can all be Happy about that. Isolde turns towards Caden and says, So, um, it would be a diamond to get her back. 
obviously not tonight or maybe the subsequent nights due to the riots in the city, but I'm sure some temples will be open during this time, and um, you would have to probably give the temple some don- We do have good relationships with the Temple of Abadar. Maybe that could work, so... A diamond? Listen. Pablo. I'm so sorry, it's subsequent. Not subsequent. Subsequent. I'm just helping you out, homie. A diamond worth... I would say 75 gold. And of course, the payment fee for the... I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Listen, the, the whole city's on fire. Uh, a bard just lost his home. I lost my job and my home. Uh, who knows how many more people are going to be in a financially tight situation. I just, I don't know that, I don't know that that's really all that. I'm just saying, I just don't see financially. I agree with have... her. Go ahead, Caden. How long do we have to um, be able to bring her back? <laughs> I can keep casting this spell every day. So that's not going to be an issue. But obviously, the longer she's gone, the more difficult it might be to bring her back. And I'm talking in the spans of weeks, not days. Um, Kato, you can roll me a recall knowledge macro. Excellent. The exorbitant price comes to your mind as long as well as the fact that you also have an exorbitant object in your possession. I have a what? Exorbitant priced object, sorry, in your possession. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Would, would he know, like, anywhere that he would be able to... Do you bring it so, out? Do you show people what you have? If you would want to know what you... If you would be able to sell it, you can roll me an Underworld or Public. Okay. Uh, he's going to reach in his pocket, and before he pulls it out, he's going to look at it and sold it. I found this, so... Please don't be mad with me. I know you don't like when I do this, but... And then he pulls it out, and then... <clears throat> she looks at it. That... that looks extremely expensive. Look at that emerald on the side. Uh, that... Whose is that? Do you remember? What's the... Uh, the late queen's brooch. Not late. Oh, the king died. Okay. The king died. The, it, yeah. It's the king. It's the queen's brooch. She puts her hat. Get, get mouth turn. Did Did Cadron have that? Gadron did have it. Found it in his belongings. That looks expensive. You could pawn that off for the money, or what if she turns towards Priz again? I don't know if maybe you could take it back to the queen herself. Maybe she reward you for that. Maybe, but it sounds like it's gonna be very hard to get to her since a lot of people want her dead on the streets. She nods. Will Durgan be able to hear this conversation? You are here, Durgan. Absolutely. All right, just making just making sure. I do want to comment something. Go for it. Now, you said that the queen probably wants that brooch, but here's the thing I wonder. Won't she want this dead? She don't know if we took it. Well, I think I think if we offered to give it back, she probably would assume we, we weren't the ones who 
took it in the first place. I don't know. But, I, but uh, I, wouldn't it raise more questions? Like, where did we find it? And wouldn't indeed. it lead them to the bodies that we've left lying there and cause more trouble for us? But then, uh, maybe it's the only bargaining trip we have, Chip, to have. We have to get Trinia back. Uh, do you have um, I Society, Lord Elijah, or something similar? Go ahead and roll me a no. uh, blind society check. Real quick, Pablo, are these doors open, or is this like, are these doors here, or are they like... I would, I would assume they're large double doors leading into a temple. Okay, Elijah, um, you're worried about your friend Trinia. She's in the castle. Uh, how to get in the castle. Very difficult for a commoner to get into the castle. Your logic seems to have... I'm not a commoner, though. God, honestly, <laughs> Mr. Voice in the Your sky. logic seems to have some sort of sense. If you want to potentially get in the castle giving that brooch would be a suitable kind of excuse to go in and check on Trinia. Yeah. Now I don't wanna I don't wanna put my, my nose in where it's not wanted, but if y'all are looking for a way to raise funds to save your friend, I mean I could take the brooch, you could invest in I have a business opportunity. It's just a tiny loan and you could I, I wanna start delivering toys to people in the city you give them you know it's a delivery service i even wrote up a jingle the parents said it was a little aggressive but it was uh best gonna give it to you fuck wait for you to get it on your own fest gonna deliver it to you knock knock open up the door it's real with the non-stop pop pop a stainless steel you know it's a, you got a jingle and everything <laughs> Yeah, they are talking about business in this kind of situation. Sorry, one second. Aaron, get a hero point. Uh, and if you're full, fuck yeah, off. Got three. It's fine. Um... Oh, Jesus. Gosh. Now, uh, is that jingle for your arms side hustle, or is that for your toys? I mean, it works for both. They're both made out of metal. And I they make the right. noises as they walk, so... I mean, I, I don't want to critique too too harshly, but, you know, dropping F-bombs in front of children just isn't the thing to do, my friend. I'm afraid to say. Can we... Uh, you know, Pardon, I need can we... It doesn't get you anywhere in polite society or in business. I, I, need, I need one jingle for the both businesses, because I only had about the five copper to give the guy. I found him on five copper. There's a <laughs> board on the, in, the, in the comments. They, yeah. I thought it was good. It's but... great. What are you saying, Matt? It's catchy. I'm... Memorable. Aaron, are you okay if I take this cliff I just took and try and find an instrumental version of X Gun and give it to you and put that over it? You're you're welcome to try. <laughs> I'm fucking doing it. Let's go, boys. Right. Try to do that after the session, Matt, so you're not distracted. I would appreciate that. You... I'm never distracted, okay. mate. Okay, all right. So I don't know where I was. Uh the kids, the kids. I don't know, man. It's uh, reacting to this to this jingle. <laughs> there are lots of kids about. Yeah, that's just true. I'm calling out like that. The kids are the kids, dropping f bombs, you know, and the sisters like, no, 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 don't say no, that. The kids are the kids. You know what? One of the do you have any visible toys on you, Festus, or anything like that? I mean, fidget in many ways is a toy, but uh, I can probably whip something up that's you know very simple if they've got. A bit of uh, a bit of wire. Well, mainly like the kids are looking really just out of it. They're 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 kind of covered in blankets. They had a hot soup, so they're definitely feeling a little better than they were before. But for the most part, they're not super engaging. I guess is the word. They're just sitting in corners, and a couple of them are talking, but. Some of them are just straight up just staring at you guys. Uh, and Sam, who was really sad about Priz, passing away is... I, I'm not sure what she's doing. She's just kind of staring at Priz morosely. But yeah, they're not really participating. Isolde is, I will say, still talking to Caden about ideas on how to... How to uh, you know, bring press back. I'm, yeah. I'm good with I'm good with certain kinds of kids in certain kinds of situations. I don't know if this is one of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I wait. It, is someone just holding 
Priz's body? Is she like on a slab? Like what? She's on the Wait, dog. She... She's on the dog, but I'm going to, uh, you know what? It's all day. We'll ask for Caden's help to put it on the little slab up here. Yeah. Would you assist Caden? Yes, you would. Okay. So with that, you guys put Priz's body on a, um, over here while, you know, it's all day still thinking, okay, well, it's hundred and fifty, a hundred and sixty, and of course there's always a chance of failing. I don't know. It's just an idea. What? You did all promise me you were gonna help me with my debt to Gadrin. As I've previously intimated, I may have made some questionable decisions regarding my business and uh it's one of those things where every every week I pay the interest on the previous week, but then I didn't finish paying off the interest according to him, so the debt keeps on compounding. And you know, I'd 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 like to to you know put I wanna, I want to sandpaper his face off and leave him somewhere in a ditch if we could. That is yeah. too generous. It's great. Why don't you so, like it? I I mean I'm just saying I, I think we got a couple of things. I'd I'd also I'm a old bay. I'm about to And he just falls oh. asleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Oh no, have we lost another one? Uh, oh man. Anyone need to come check on him don't, with me? No. Don't let you don't wake him. Oh, oh he's only asleep, sorry. I'm just Yeah. I was kind of very sudden and dramatic. I wasn't sure. He talked himself to sleep and that's good. I got tired of hearing about his shop and singing and such. So let him sleep and I hope he won't sing again. And he walks at five feet. Do we, I don't know, tuck him in? I say we just leave we him just here. He looks comfortable. Leave. Yeah. Yes, yes, why not, my dear? Like, you don't, you know, rock away. Uh, you don't rock a sleeping baby. That's what I was going for. Yeah, you, just, you just, just, you, just wake him up. You do rock sleeping babies. Oh. You rock, that's... I think you mean you don't wake a, a sleeping baby. Maybe, I don't the, know. The I've never, I'm not really great you? with children. I'm not going to lie. All right. Well, what are we doing again? Are we I sleeping here? Are we? You guys are feeling... Oh. The Discord crash. The Discord crash. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Where is Yoba? Hello. Yoba's Yoba's over there. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. The Discord crash for me or for everybody? Oh yes, it crashed. I love it. Um, no. Uh, I, I don't know what you were saying, Yaba. It crashed, but I was mentioning that you're all pretty feeling pretty fatigued after the adrenaline that's gone through your systems at least five times today. So, you know. Are we sleeping here? Are we going to Cadence? Are we all going to, a, well, not you, Elijah. You'll be with me. But um, are we all going to our, our homes? This all day we'll mention. There's definitely rooms you guys are welcome to sleep in. She looks at Fess, and I'll get a blanket for that one. Ma'am, how's the fighting been over here? They've basically avoided this place. So it does look like a well, for a temple, it's not the best kept, so I think most people avoided it, and uh, this area of town has more than one temple, and I think the gods bless us because rioters are not very common here. The benefits of religion. <sighs> well, be sure to wake us if, well, something happens. Uh, well, I you know. might also fall asleep. Um, you guys are welcome to keep watches if you want to. Uh, for the most part, the temple doors are closable and lockable. So if there's any sort of hubbub around, you would probably hear it before it, it encroaches on you. And if there is, there are no objections, uh, we can long rest at this point. So any objections, I'll, I will hit the long rest button if there are any objections. I'm just going to... Six hours into the night, Festus starts awake, yells, Pork chop pancakes! And then falls back asleep. 
<laughs> how how long were you waiting to use that fest gun? And give it to you. Thing? Durgan will wake up. I says, "Bloody <laughs> hell!" He even talks to this. Leave it goes back. Durgan, what was that? Lang is going to? What was that one d twenty four, Durgan? It's to see if he woke up or not. Okay, fair enough. Oh. And he did, and he cursed and went to sleep again. So, oh. so you Durgan guys... is yeah. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Lang is going to sleep under the tree like Isaac Newton, staring up at the stars. If if you can see it, I'm assuming there's light coming through here. Uh, I'm, I think so. I think this is obviously a courtyard. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. The party sleeps for the night. I have long rested you all. Uh, you can heal to full if the long rest and heal you to full and get rid of any lingering status effects except dying. Sorry. That in there. Um, but what do you guys do as you wake up relatively a little later than you would around 845 mainly because of oh 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 you want to do something huh? want to do something okay your morning preparations Yava involve drawing a card from the Harrow deck alright so I just pick one because it just get, it popped up a suit, and I just pick one randomly. Did it actually really do that? Mm -hmm. Stream like, for me. Gonna... Stream for me. I I, I oh. don't know how. Well, that... I just clicked it. Okay, I don't know it how that away. works. Uh, let me let me let me click on it for you. Let me see what it does. Power dedication. No. Okay. I didn't do it for you. Okay, I'll do it again, and then I can. <gasps> what? It didn't pop back up. Oh no! I... It didn't do it again. Oh no! Well, it might be because it's a once per day thing. Yeah, yeah, do you already have a status effect on you or something? That's yeah, she you not does, to do and it, it says crowns for some reason. I think it was just yeah. That's that was the suit. Okay, so that I picked. Okay, so uh, you picked crowns. Got it. Uh, you do you have to draw a random card, or is that just yeah? It says random. So it, what, did you randomly mm -hmm. pick a card, or or did you? I just. I mean, it showed me all the suits, so I just clicked on something. Okay, tell you what, I think if if the if the if the thing is random, I am gonna have you roll a. Da -da 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 -da. What are the decks here again? What are the suits? Uh, I don't know if it is random. It just says you draw a card from your Harrow deck, but that would imply to me that it's random. Like you just take one out. Right, just draw it. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't um, know. No, because it says okay. No, it is random because you draw a card from your hero deck. But when you select the status effect, it lets you pick which card you drew, right? If that makes sense. Crash. Yeah, crash. I missed all that. Okay. Yeah, I missed all that. Okay. Goodbye, Discord. Sorry. Um. So when you select hero dedication, it lets you pick a suit, but that's because you would have already pre-randomly drawn a card. So. The easiest way to do this is to roll a one, two, three, four, one d six, and we'll decide which one it is today. Yeah. You will pick crowns. Real quick, if which is what you picked anyway, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then there you go. <laughs> uh, and crowns. Real quick. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. If Discord fully shits itself, um, it sounds lame as fuck. Uh, do we want to just use Teamspeak? I can just probably buy a thing and get it set up pretty quickly. If uh, everything does. It's just like a very quick download. It's like free and everything. I don't even have it on my computer, but it's just like in case um, this dies again. I don't think it's going to die, die. I think it's just going to keep glitching over and over because it did it last week. It, it did it again. <laughs> it said it's not going to die. Did, did, I, did I stop when it said I don't think yeah. it's going to die yeah. again? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said, you, you said I don't think it's gonna duck. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, everything froze. Yeah, you froze. The camera just went black. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's good. That's worth a villain point, right? Point, point. No. Uh, no. <laughs> it is worth a villain Never. point. It absolutely is. You have to earn it, Pablo. I hmm. I wanna I wanna I am going to encourage you to give me some villain points for no reason whatsoever, but I'm sure you can think of a reason to give me a villain point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, what is crowns? I don't remember. There's there's actually... Uh, uh, charisma. Charisma? Okay. Charisma based for once once per day if you roll a... If you fail or critically fail a charisma 
based check, you can use your reaction to make that a once degree higher. So a fail would be a success or critical failure or failure. Yeah. So just keep that in yeah. mind. Anybody else have any more daily preparations they want to do? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, that's exciting. <laughs> hey, are the, kids, are the kids still still real sad? The kids are less sad, but still sad. They're being fed breakfast by his soldi this morning. Um, and some of them are looking a little, you know, after having two full meals under their belt, a little, little more chipper, a little, 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 you know? My daily prep involves making four explosives. You all want to see how to turn household items into things that can blow up? Yeah, sure. All right, well, what you do is you get some of this here cleaner, and you take little balls of this aluminum, you crumple it up, and you put them in a container together. You shake it up real good. No, don't shake it up now. It'll blow up in your hand, but you shake it up real good when you want to throw it, and it'll make a nice bad day for somebody on the other end. You know, just for fun, roll me a diplomacy. Technically, I should be the one rolling, but it's fine. You roll. Roll the diplomacy. Hell yeah. This little kid learns how to make a pipe bomb. What? There you go. I, done, I did good work. Let's call him little Johnny. Oh, great. So now we have the IRA in here as well. Awesome. <laughs> So you you never know when it's good to have friends who can, you know, back you up with a few explosives. Uh, <coughs> little Johnny Sorry. will. Uh, okay, okay. He seems relatively smart, and uh, we're smarter than the average. Hmm. Got it. And we'll pick up quickly what you taught him, and may or may not cause chaos in the future. We'll see. So. So. The next morning, you rise and shine. Uh, you wake up from your respective niches, and let's converge here and decide what you guys want to go next. Or maybe let's just converge on Corvosa and figure out what your plan is for the day. One more thing, obviously. There's... You peek out. There is unrest, but there are no riots this morning. Any fires that were present have potentially died down some a couple of small fires still yeah well a couple of small fires still rage um and uh you see guards patrolling the streets why am i hearing myself echo is it matt matt it's you oh fuck is it me yeah uh, and even my fucking webcam fucked up like the discord died and now my webcam won't focus on me there we go so um the Streets are. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll get this fixed. Okay, Give me a moment. That's fine. You see a sense of unrest on the streets, but you don't see anarchy. You just get a sense of general unease, and there's not that many people walking through the streets as you peek out, and more guards than there have ever been patrolling. What would you like to do today? I'm going to change the music to Corvosa Streets here, if I can find it. There's the the suit equip, and uh, I mean, we can put it somewhere. Thank you. I'll probably save this and screenshot it and put it somewhere else. I, I, I was I have a way to look it up, but it takes me a little bit of scrolling I, through the period. I think Aiden accidentally pressed on the wrong channel. No, he's fixing his mic. Ah. Yeah. So. Uh, wrong music. Let's do Corvosa Streets normal. All right. The town went into a ghost town. Yeah, yeah. All right. What do you guys do? So we're trying to see the queen to return a brooch and also for Elijah's friend to do a wellness check. Um, do you think that we could, I don't know, walk up to a guard and say that he needs to present us to the queen because we have vital information? I mean, I'm, I'm sure just my face alone would get me in there. 
It's got to be useful I'm, for something, I'm sure. Um, I'm sorry, pretty I sure. Had to... You didn't miss anything, sorry. Matt. You're fine. All right. Um, please let me know if it echoes again. I think I'm going to have to buy a new headset. No worries. Go ahead, Dragon. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure at the moment if we talk to the god about talking to the queen, he would say we should scatter and just get out of here. And if we say it's something important, maybe he thinks we will kill her like the king is dead. Right. Honestly think that they would turn away someone of such notoriety as myself? Really? Yes. Because yes. of the times that we're in, I'm not going to be there to kill anyone. Especially if I don't turn up with you bunch of ruffians. Right. All right, look. It's because of us ruffians you survived the ordeal. Oh, yes. I mean, All don't right. get me wrong. I'm not trying to be too crass here. You certainly have your uses. But uh, sometimes you need a bit more of a delicate touch, my friend. Not just, you know, randomly shouting about Gadrian at all time of day and night. Doesn't right, really look, get you look. anywhere, I'm afraid. He deserves to be insulted in that public, and people deserve yes, to yes, be Yes, 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 we know, we know, my friend, we know. All right, you two, <sighs> look, listen. Elijah, they're not going to fucking let you in there, because you're a civilian, I'm a civilian, everyone here is a civilian, and it's a really, really tense, like, state across the city right now. Even if the riots have died a civilian, off... I'm a those... citizen. That's a synonym. That, that that's a nominal. Mm, I need a smoke. <laughs> right, but Aiden, don't you think with your your old like aren't you chums with some of your old? I don't know. Weren't you like someone important in the military no, I was, or? I was a guard. <sighs> a guard to where? Like to to the castle, the palace. No, not to the palace. Just a city guard. Okay, so can't no, you use look, some of your connections? Oh, are that's they all the dead? Plan. Exactly. See, she's smart. We'll go over. I'll try and get. Uh, I'll try and talk to Cressida. She's the head of the guards. Um, what we'll do is we'll use the lever. We'll use the ledger that we have. After we get this head business out of the way first, that has to come first because I'm not going to walk around this town with a dead head strapped to me. Um. I, I mean, we. It served us well, you know, when the loon came by, giving us prophecies and whatnot, you know. Do you want me to walk into uh, over towards Castle Curvosa with a head strapped to me? They're going to they're going to put an arrow between my eyes or around one of the. All oh, right, all right, it's not that important. No. So, where do you want to drop the head? Well, first, I think we should go over to Zalara's. I think her name was. Uh, yeah. You know, it's her head. And it doesn't make sense. We need to get that figured out. And then after we get that figured out, we'll go over to Cressida and I'll talk to her. Not only will we get payment for the ledger, but I'm going to use the ledger as, uh, I guess, leverage. And I'm going to see if I can get a written reference from her that I can give to, that we can give to the guards to say that, hey, these are upstanding citizens and they have an item of that they have a personal item of the queens that they wish to deliver to the queen themselves. We'll probably get, we, we're definitely going to get disarmed, but it'll get us in with the queen. Yeah, all right. And then we'll get rewarded, right? Like, we're after this well, for the money, and then the wellness check. No, we're not in this for the money, not with Castle Curvosa. What we're in it for is for Elijah's friend. No. I mean, yeah. I'm in it for the money. I'm definitely, I definitely need yeah, money. I'm I'm need money. Everybody here needs money. I don't know if, like, do police officers not need money? That seems different than what I've experienced. They're always asking me for it, so. I so see you're going to bribe them. All right, look at this. I like this. Look at it this way. Hmm. Would you rather have gold in your pockets, or would you rather ensure that Elijah's friend, whom he went through a you blazing stop, trail you of fire. in their pockets. Anything uh, after that, I did not hear. I heard gold in my pockets, and uh, I stopped listening. My brain shuts off. It's like a little clockwork in there. Just click right off. Wind it back up. More gold. We should... Right, well, yeah, I mean, I am worried about Elijah's mm -hmm. paramour, but... 
More than that, we need to figure out a way to monetize the situation. It's not every day that you find the Queen's brooch. So Why we're going to need to capitalize on this. So that's how you pronounce it's... it. Sorry. I know, it's just bugging me. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, you people Because it's a brooch. No, I know. My brain doesn't work. Can you people not wiggle If I say brooch, I might die. Okay, so. <laughs> How do we breach the brooch topic? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Festus, you know, padding with some guards' pockets seems more expensive, and it's going to, really, it's going to hurt a profit in the end. Mm. Oh, this is always coming around my so, shop. No, me no, 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 no. Uh, Discord cut. Uh -oh. I'm gonna turn. Yeah. The, I'm gonna turn the bit rate down. Maybe it'll help. I'm gonna turn the video quality down. Maybe it'll help. Maybe I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ch I'm gonna change the server. Ooh. Maybe it'll help. Okay. <laughs> oh, I also died. Oh god. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Uh, it's, it's just everything's going horrible. You're like, I'm gonna change that, and then it cut off again. <laughs> I I've changed the quality. I've turned it down. I've changed the server. Yeah. Uh, I've changed um, the video quality. So maybe it'll right. stabilize. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, yeah. Wait, who was going? And I yeah. Who, where were we? Oh, Jorgen, go ahead. Yeah. Um. We know we need to talk of a guard, no matter what, but what if we just get as close as we can to the Queen's area? That is where the most inexperienced, perhaps a captain, we can talk to. Instead of a common guard, that will probably break our teeth and take the brooch and take the reward. Well, first, I thought we were going to go get rid of this head. Yeah, yeah we're going to get rid of this head. I'm not quite sure how head, any of these but... plans involve us still carrying this head around. I just. Uh, I, I'm fairly oh certain my. we can go to her house without her head. I'm fairly certain it's not something we have to return there. Okay, okay. I'm going to and say I'm this. Just, I'm, I'm going just to say this. Like we could just I'm going to here. say this one more time, Elijah. I'm going to get this one more time. We're going to go to Zolaris first. We're going to figure out why the hell. Why do you need a head? head? We know it's hers. Why do you need? Why is your fascination with this old man? Because. This removes plausible deniability. She could just say, no, it wasn't my head. It was someone else's. If I throw her head on her counter and she looks at her head, plausible deniability goes out the window. There's clearly something being hidden there. And this is evidence to prove what we're saying, what we're accusing them of. But let's mm. just go bloody deal already. It's not that far. Hey, hey have you guys guy. been walking and talking? Yeah, no. let's say that. Yeah, um, actually, that <laughs> was no something else. That was something. That was something. Lang was saying when the thing cut off. He was just gonna say, "Elijah, I'm I'm going to walk to uh, I'm going to walk to Do you, you want to?" You guys come? have been for some of this conversation, at the very least, been walking and talking. The streets today are there's a lot of messes. There's a lot of just shattered uh, window fronts from stores there's still there's a few people trying to have some sort of some sort of sense of normalcy potentially go to work but a lot of people are just boarded up in their houses the main thing you will see are retinues of guards everywhere just patrols keeping the peace you are going to get harassed immediately as you step to where you are by a retinue of guards. Um, and let me actually, where is my city street map here? Let me find it. Is this the one? I mean, yeah, sure. We'll use the same window store sill that here. It's funny. I'll just show you what you guys saw last night and fix it. Um, I'll, I'll it's broken. Yeah, yeah, I'll get rid of it. We, it is now daytime, there's no fires, and there is not a fire, or, well, you know what, there's still rubble, it's an overturned cart, because fuck it, I why not? Only, only see a blank map, who else sees uh, that? You will have to refresh if you only see, see a blank map. I see it. I see it. Yeah? Cool. I will refresh. 
God, I love this. This is incredible. We should have an uprising every decade just to, you know, this is this is just incredible, you know? Yava, Yava, Yava. You enjoy people losing their livelihoods and homes? Yava? What? There's a guard up ahead. Shut the fuck up. You sound oh, like right. a rebel when you say that. <laughs> All right. Who are you? State your business. Why are you out on the streets? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? My name is Elijah. He'll walk up oh, and hold out his hand. No. Elijah, only 1d100. Oh, boy. I'm gonna get punched in the face. The is low is is low good or bad? Low is bad, high is good. None of them seem to recognize oh, no. you as you hey, approach. Hang on, I can reroll. You want to use your hero point and reroll? Let's reroll. Let's do this. Come on, I've got to. Oh god, that's even worse. Can I? Can nice. I use? A, can I try doing a reflex save as in I order to grab him by the tuft of his collar and just yank him backwards? I think it's a little Great. too nah. late for that. We just rolled. Fuck! Oh, it's a yeah, shitty it's bard right. that thinks highly of himself. Who the? <gasps> Oh, my dear boy, it's fine, it's fine. People aren't always fans of your work. I've had worse critiques. I've had things thrown at me on stage. But what can I do for you, gentlemen? We're simply about our way, trying to uh, get across town. I know it's not uh, not easy to do, given the current situation, but... State your... Could mm. we go on our way? Mm. I, I, I just did. Um, well, Elijah? Me, we're trying to go across town. Roll me Over in. there? Oh, sorry. Roll me a seat check. Go ahead. Do the rest of you if you want to say something. But while I, was say, I was just trying to get to my shop up there. You know, Festus is curious creations. It's, you know, tell your kids. Um, Damn, Elijah? Oh, Elijah. God. I, Elijah. I'm a terrible bard. What the hell? <laughs> Elijah? Shut the fuck up. Mm, it's all right. Just... It's all oh, right. No, Let him try. to look on a friend. Can't we do that? I can't even get to my tavern and speak to the barkeep. Because the damn bridge was closed. The guards look at you all and... Listen, I'm just a helpless old man riding a mechanical insect and uh, standing out here with a bunch of heavily armed individuals. We're very normal. Let's go. I'm not heavily armed. Mm. You're not. Yeah. They crawl. <laughs> All right, guys, Lang is one, at the... one, one second, please. These guards, they cross their arms, they go back and start whispering. All right, what are you... These two are currently looking at Elijah up and down. Uh, all right. I, mm. This one looks at the rest of you all, and eventually they will just say, yeah, get on by. I, go. I don't scrap. see the guards, to be honest. Uh, there are... Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you all. And you guys, I don't see the guards. They, they are on the screen. You might have to refresh again, but it's fine. Don't refresh again. Don't <laughs> refresh again. It's fine. It's it's just guards on the screen, and um, they are they're... real quick. Mm -hmm. Would would uh, as they're walking by, some of these guys look a bit old. Um, would Lank recognize any of them? Possibly. I know it's a big city, but just I thought I'd take the take the chance. Yeah, roll a random chance roll. Roll me d one hundred. Roll one d one hundred. This one gives Pretty you good. a curious glance. Yes, I know they look the same, but I don't have that many guard tokens. This one looks at you. Look at you. Yeah, you recognize that guy. Although, to be perfectly blunt, you remember him as a dick. <clears throat> um. Well, you know what? It's not. It's not time to antagonize each other. No matter what their relationship was, whether it was like really tense, or if it was a lot of back and forth, instead of like hiding his face or anything, he looks at the guard and he just tips his hat and then keeps on walking, letting he, him do his business. He sneers, but you hear what seems to be, they all hear what seems to be a commotion on the next street and they keep moving. So, um, that was the initial guard encounter. And while I don't want to repeat that multiple times, we're going to have to do some sort a few couple of checks to get across town without being impeded. Uh, first is a random encounter roll, which means that for the most part you are, you can easily make your way through streets and casually avoid any patrols if there are any, so that they don't harass you. All right. Um, in addition to that, there is no hostile elements, at least during the day, at this point in time, where there are no active riots going on. Why are you pinging? I don't know. Uh, 
No, nah, somebody was pinging. I was like, what? Everything, everything okay? Mm-hmm. So, uh, the remainder of the... So, it's what? 8.45. We'll get to 9.30. The remainder of the travel through bo- some boarded up houses, some normal, obviously not untouched houses, and, and even a house that's just been completely burned down. Some the market is closed, nobody's at the market, and of course, uh, there's remnants and rubble and just debris and rubbish from yesterday's riots everywhere. You will encounter like a group of suspiciously workers, dock workers that are not at the docks at this point in time, suspiciously, you know, wandering in a group probably go cause some trouble. Uh, but unless you really want to engage with them, we're going to ignore them. I move to Zolara's house. Any objections, any questions, any role play throughout the way? All right, look. It was a real good job these- not, not losing your head there. You know, we want to make sure we get ahead on the morning. You know, you could go to the head of the class. I got more. All right, look. When it comes to the guards, high tense, like high tension across the board okay everyone know what that word means um attention yeah high tension is uh like when you have a lot of voltage running through it and it's uh very very firm i think that you mean that they are just tense is what i think you're you're trying to say no i'm saying there are high tensions around the city but yes the guards are tense yes, basically sir. elijah mm-hmm. shut the fuck up what are you talking about? They were lovely. They were very pleasant. Just because yeah. you had issues with that one fellow doesn't mean you have to just bring the rest of us down to your level. I, mean, I don't. You can I don't be. Want... You can still be courteous in these times. There's no point starting anything, is there? I don't want Elijah, to I, Elijah, I, don't want I felt my heart. Side, but Eli- Elijah, I felt my stomach drop when you just started moving up to them. For all they knew, you were about to pull out a dagger or something. I was waiting for one of them to just get real jumpy. And, t- and take a swing at you. Elijah looks at that- himself up and down. Yes, yes, me pull out a dagger. Yes, the guy with the massive loot, with the massive flute, uh, no, got that, uh, yeah, violin on his back. Yes, yes, be- he's definitely going to go and start mugging some gods. Absolutely. And you maybe say I'm the one who has no sense in reality. I don't know. But maybe they think we're just a rogue. This guy's seeing us apart. Remember, they lost some of their kin in the fight with the rebels. Well, I'm just, I don't mean to take sides, but it does seem like if we have to talk to guards, maybe the blue one who's friendly should do it and not the dwarf for any reason, or the guy who's trying to smuggle a head. What's about this about a dwarf? Yeah, yeah, the dwarf. You, you shouldn't talk to any guards or anyone important. Just not yet. You can talk to us about Gadrin, I mean, I suppose. But you don't need to be talking to any guards. And also, I agree, like, you have a head in your trench coat. I don't know that you need to be traipsing up to a bunch of guards. I don't you carry know. a head. No, no, sorry, Lang. Lang has a head on his belt. How many people here have heads? Is this a problem where we're going to get confused about how many heads we're carrying? Pablo's got enough. He's gone. He's left. <laughs> That's it. He's gone. He's out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> For the last... God damn time. You're going to understand why I'm having this head. Actually, you should already understand from the previous conversation we just had yeah, about yeah, why you have one head. I'm confused why someone having a head is not a detail worthy of remembrance of who has what head. You know what's even more surprising? <laughs> that we are talking about a dedicated head out in the open. You well, know what? Yes, you know what? You guys, you guys have asked for it. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, it's, no. okay. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's finish your Scooby Doo mystery here with your head. I know. Oh, hey, I saw that play. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. I I was uh, more of a fan of Warlock Holmes. Let, listen, listen. We we found the head in a bag, in a like a a chest. Yeah, in Gadrin's like. Hideout. So it is, there's it a is head. bedroom, I believe. Very weird. Oh, yeah. yeah, his office, his bedroom is kind of all. Anyway, so th- that's how I, we became in possession of the head. Lang thought it was really important that we bring it along with us. 
and dear God, don't. Yes, we know why. Lang, we we understand like completely. And if the God asks why you have it, we just say you went insane. Yeah. Act- well, I, actually, if, I was going to bank on bounty work, but sure. We just run, right? If 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 the guards see Lang's head, we just we just all scatter. Anyone talk to him because he seems slower than the rest of us, and I think we can That's get true. away. That's true. I think we arrived at the location. All right. Well, let's go meet a ghost, I guess. Yeah. Or oh, someone oh, right. impersonating someone else. That's the whole reason yeah. Lang brought it here. Yeah. Let's go throw throw some heads around, shall we? Seems like great fun. Wait. Um, the first thing you guys notice as you arrive outside of Zolara's home is it looks hmm, what is it? different. The outside looks a little more worn down. The chip is painting. The chip, the paint, the paint is chipping. Sorry. Um, the uh, let me find it. Sorry, one second. There is a lot of uh scrolling here. Oh, okay. All right. You can do that PDF, sure. You can you can stop doing that. All right, hold on one second. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the paint is chipping, and overall, looks like a. In fact, as you as you go upon the door, there is a notice that says foreclosed or, for yeah, uh, cl- like whatever the whenever, whatever that. Foreclosure, like foreclosure. notice of foreclosure. Notice of foreclosure on there. Yeah, absolutely. Was it like this okay. when we all were here yesterday or whenever? No. Nope. no, no Check your weapons. Not. Well, it didn't someone? Sorry, this is a bit mad. Didn't didn't someone know that there was a bit of an illusion going on? Yeah. Did you tell the rest of us? Yeah. Hey, Aiden. Uh, just... So I forgot. Um, and a, I failed the recall check, and then I remembered right after I did the recall check. So I haven't t- actually told anyone, and the knowledge has kind of been lost. Like, well, I think, I think because I, I was doing detect magic, that that I knew because of there the were magic. there was magic in the area. You didn't know what kind, not at this level. And Aiden, obviously, once you probably open the door, you will it will come back to memory because mm-hmm. I haven't given you the description. So Aiden, I was just wondering, like more on the outside, if you would notice, cool, no problems. The outside is chipping. It's a yeah. Obviously, the foreclosure shine is a big like what, but yeah, mm. oh. yeah. I was just, I was going to say, hey, we know about the magic, but we don't. Oh, yes, this is very, very different. It did, definitely the right address. Yes, we didn't get lost in in all the chaos of having to take those diversions. Don't don't think so. Looks like it's it. It just looks, but you know, dilapidated. All right, open up the door. Aiden's going to reach it down, and he's going to take out his gun. He's going to keep it, like, he's going to keep it close to himself, so that way he's not, like, you know, waving it about on the street. But he's just going to, like, pop it open, make sure that it's round loaded, click it closed. You and he's going to look over at Caden. Mm-hmm. Now, hold on. He's going to look over at Caden. His, his hand is going to rest on the handle. He's going to go, you ready? I might just get blown away the second I open this. I'm ready. Yeah. He opens it. Hit the button. The house is seems to be weeks abandoned. No food on the table. No wall hangings, as I described earlier. No rugs. No furniture. In fact, any furniture you see is in pieces scattered throughout only under a thick layer of dust. And the only footprints you see here are the ones you yourselves left because you recognize some of these footprints that you left yesterday. God damn. All right. He's going to step in, and his gun's actually going to raise... Oh. Uh Uh-oh. Yava. Mm -hmm. Your pocket... Burns slightly. You're a low humming. Do you look and see what's doing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll reach to my pocket. The harrow deck that you had is glowing. And suddenly, Aiden, you see 
what seems to be a ghostly visage of Zolara, and I need to find the ghost effect, but I'll that later up here before you. Uh, let me find a quick. Is this it? Glow, bloom, maybe glow. There we go. I'll put a glow on her. There we go. I had to use a little trickery. I've been long dead. Caden killed me weeks ago. It's gonna. A A Aiden is going to, like, lightly throw back his trench coat and just show the head attached to his bum to go. I know. I just knew that you knew, but I am, but a lingering spirit that resides. And she points to Rizal. I'm assuming you guys move up a little bit too. By the way, I'm assuming maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Sure. She points at Yava. Hold on. I was about to ask and do do something that we can all know about ghosts. Oh, oh, oh what? Why did oh, the door? Just, uh... Oh, thank God. Um, you can. I think to recall knowledge macro. If he fails, he will just think he hears stories about them. Yeah, with a twelve on whimsical drawer and folk tales, you've heard stories of ghosts. So, uh, let... he will be wary because he about a story said it's hard to kill them. They do require the ghost touch them, don't they? Oh um... yeah, I hope ghosts win. Real bloody hell, things are getting worse the day the ghost. In life, I lived by that deck that she holds, she points at Yavo. And in death, I have become the deck in a matter of speaking. I can only do this once a day if you need to have a conversation with me. I was waiting for you to come here before manifesting so you would know the real truth. You can... Dispose of the head, although I would ask that you burn it or bury it. I would appreciate that. You want to understand what happened, right? What? Someone died just so that way you could come back as a deck. I am sorry for your loss. I have heard. And yes, I even... The Dex even predicted it in a bit. I did mention the, uh, let me double check here. Sorry, where is it? Looking at the, there we go. The Brass Dwarf was the unclear future. The interpretation was that no one is invincible. Anyway, the point is now you have recovered the deck. It is yours to keep and use. Please do not try to sell it. It would be foolhardy to do so. It would get but a pittance out of it. But I am happy to accompany you through these troubled times. And I might perform another reading in the future. I don't want your goddamn readings. Don't trust a ghost. Wow, are you always this mean to people who are A, ghosts, B, trying to help? Festus. C, this... part of the manual person at the same time? This walking corpse manipulated every single one of us, used the anger we had towards Gadrin to start a goddamn massacre so that way she could come back as a deck of cards. You she's not some she's not some fortune teller that Gadrin, have no. you? No, we haven't because he escaped. He ran. You think you wanna hide behind your card? You can do that, but to me you're just a goddamn coward. It's over in this she, she probably can help us. How can you be so trustful for a ghost? 
You didn't see what she told us. We thought she was normal. Literally yesterday, people rolled up into my shop with a head and a dead body, and I trusted y'all implicitly. This is nothing. It's just a ghost. There's I've a read difference a lot about between ghosts. the living and the dead. I know, I know all about ghosts. I've been reading lots and lots of ghost hunting manuals by this guy. He's a halfling. He's a, a cousins of Bilbo and Frodo, and I guess his name is Zach, Zach Baggins. He's wrote a whole bunch of things about ghost huntings, and, you know, I, I know a lot. I feel good about can it. Java, can you That's roll me just a recall knowledge, a full bro? Tale. While she's rolling the recall knowledge real quick, Pablo, I want to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. So you want a burial, Zolara? Then here. He's going to unclip the head and just chuck it in her direction. Like, just one hand, underarm. Just letting it roll. No, nope, that's how you get a curse. I'm gonna go, go ahead and, then, and pick that one up. And hold, hold on, let me let me finish real quick, Festus. Let me finish. Let me finish. As as he throws it, he looks her dead dead in her well dead eyes and goes, "Manifest yourself into a goddamn shovel." All right. Well, you enjoy your curse. I'm gonna go ahead and respectfully bury the head. So uh, I guess at this point. Uh, yeah, you can grab the head, Festus. Uh, Yava, only recall knowledge macro. Hold on, before you move, Festus. Do you have the recall knowledge macro, Yava? Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. You rolled great, and your fortune telling is amazing. Um, Zalara looks actually offended by uh, Detective Lang's comments and will disappear. Uh, Yava, you ascertain that the hero card you have at this point is an intelligent magic item that can summon once per day uh if she wants to come out which right now she doesn't seem to uh zolara what is her purpose well she might have, she might have told you but she's gone uh but in the future you're welcome to try to talk to her in private and or see what she's up for right up to she might even be able to help in multiple situations, but yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is there a little I'm being a child? It's okay. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, so um, the old man offended someone else. Lovely. Um, did we get any useful information out of this at all, or no? Uh, we got played. Like Not a bunch really. of puppets by I mean, a ghost. Yes, That's I know we did. I know we did. And, it, and I, I understand your upset, Detective, but you can't just go around throwing people's heads at their own ghostly remains. That's just inhuman. Elijah, 12 hours ago, we were standing over the corpse of one of our recently eaten, newly made comrades who died because that woman manipulated every one of us. So forgive me if I find it justifiable to throw her head onto her house that is somehow, by miracle, shittier than mine. I mean, I feel like you'd just have any reason to go after Gadrin, my friend. And any loss of life pff, was just part of your world. I don't really see the upset for you, if I'm honest. Maybe I'm just being harsh now, but I mean, what you've just displayed here, I don't think oh, you'd shit. have that level of compassion, if I'm honest. I've seen plenty of people die, Elijah. And every time it has never gotten easier. It's not something that you like having in your life, and it's certainly not something I ha I like having happen, especially when it's out of my control. I just don't, I just don't see the reason why we have to be just so so offensive to absolutely everyone. Nothing wrong with a little bit of courtesy, Detective. We might have been able to get some more knowledge, so we weren't played as much as you say that we were. But no. So it's just one big show for you, isn't it? Yava, the bedroom has nothing. Uh, nothing of interest, unfortunately. It's before you, when the illusion was up, it was a meticulous bedroom with, with rugs and effective... Uh, uh, murals on the wall displaying different harrow cards. Um, right now it's rubble, dust, and you are almost choking and sneezing for the amount of just cobwebs and junk in there. So this is a derelict hut. It's all good. Um, 
So, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, guys, just do remember if there is a voice being, uh, if the voice call is active and you want to say or do something, feel free to type in chat because that that is a good sign. Yeah, I just hope about, I just hope I wasn't hogging it too much just then. So, no, just that's like, good. I can, it's okay. Yeah, we don't we, need to we, stop role play so I can ask, you know, if there's something in the room. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. Uh, you definitely have a very powerful magic item, Yava. In fact, I think I'm going to reveal more of the items details to you. Uh, let me see here. Hand painted. This features are so. The initial description says, "I'll just send the initial description." These hand painted images are created the scarrow deck. The cards frames are gilded and silver. They sparkle and flash. Worn conditions. Vibrant faces. Surprising ease of a deck. It's a great deck. The most, the next thing you will know is these features are subtle manifestation of the spirit that haunts the cards. In life, Zalara lived by this deck, and in death, she has become the deck. Uh, intelligent magic item. You know she can sense the world around the deck by sight and sound, and she can communicate to anyone who holds the deck via empathy. And right now, you just feel anger and and uh, I don't want to know hurt. Hurt. Yeah. Thank you. Let me reveal these details as well to you. Let me see if I can unsecret that. Um, yeah, there's more, but that's as far as you can, you'll get for now. Save, I'll post the second part in chat if you want to actually read it. And that's that, yeah. Wait, so do we know about this uh, activity to be able to, uh, auto identify that was items. that was a uh, that was already from the initial thing yeah um yeah, yeah. so that... Dagan, you saw my thing right you are thing Did you in the right the chat there's nothing in the gameplay chat there we go now there is are you, are you sure i have three things there three messages i honestly don't see anything you don't uh, see anything honest. in chat? Okay, just say it. It's fine. You can refresh for me, Jurgen, maybe. But yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the gameplay chat. No, in Foundry. Oh, no, not gameplay chat. The actual Foundry chat. Oh, the Foundry. Let me see. Yeah, I, you just wrote it now. It's fine. I just didn't notice. You, you just wrote it, uh, then I was looking away for a second. It's fine. Oh, you, sorry. You can, you can, you guys can, yeah. Uh, we can use the airspace now if you guys want. Or you guys can, sp uh, yeah. All right. So Java, do you say that actually? You say that out loud? Or do you think? I'm kind of like using that like empathic or, te you know, that mm -hmm, empathic mm -hmm. bond. I'm more like sending those emotions. Mm -hmm. You conveying you feel, that idea. Uh, you feel like a hmph, you know, like the, like the hmph somebody would do mm -hmm. telepathically. A harumph. But, a harumph, effectively. But, you know, regardless, you were told she's used it once per day. She can only use it once per day, and that's her appearing out and speaking is once per day. So you will have to try again tomorrow. But you're welcome to continue chatting with the deck men telepathically. Maybe she'll give you some feelings or responses. Uh, Detective Lang, Durgan, roll me both of you a secret perception check. Perception, blind, bang. Nothing's odd, Detective Lang. All right, Durgan. I'm gonna open the door. Dust. Oh, rubble. Yeah, you can open the door. Same description. Dust, rubble, empty house, foreclosed. It, Nothing. It, else. In fact, on honestly, it seemed to have been uh, looted before the the riots, of course. Uh probably a couple weeks, uh, probably a week ago, and anything of value has been gone. So. Is Hello? it just yes. me, or this place seems rather small? It's what people can usually afford in Carvosa. You know, There's richer no get kitchen. richer, poorer get poorer. Okay, just a real quick idea. Could, uh, could I get Edgar from Zalara? Could you get Edgar from Zalar. Shit, I keep forgetting to add your familiar, don't I? Mm -hmm. I think I, I so think, just story wise. I, I think I set him up, but yeah, yeah, you're welcome yeah. to. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. So like, Flavor bird, 
yeah, I guess. So this, this house has been abandoned for weeks. And so there are some small trees. Uh, and the moment that Zalara goes back into the deck uh, and yeah, uh, a crow and or raven, not sure, flies out of the tree and then will just perch on her shoulder. Uh, she'll kind of reach up and give a little like, hello, I don't have any mm, food. So shoot. And she'll like kind of push the bird off of her shoulder. It'll it'll clasp its claws even more firmly on your arm. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. And right, right, we'll, right. well actually you get a let me double check. You have do you yeah. have how many familiar abilities do you have? You should have two more, right? Four. Did, did you let me know which the other two I set are? them up. Um, hmm. This should this should mm -hmm. be I'll only set see up. two. I'll only see two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it under your uh thing? Under your character Saturday? Let's see here. Yava Path Builder. Should be. Sorry, let me double check. I don't know that it's in Path Builder. I think it's only in Foundry. But I don't know. Let me see. You have so I think Pets. It, yeah. It was under you have flyer and touch lovely. There were two more. If you remember what those are, let me know. If not, I'll try to share senses and ambassador. Share senses. Hey Oliver, is that that's a new boyfriend? He seems a little clingy. Yeah. I guess, I suppose so. Uh I don't really know what that's about. He'll probably get bored, fly away, get hungry, fly away. Oh, I get it, because he's perched. Clingy. Yes, yeah. and he buried yeah. his claws in. Yes, yes. Look, we, yeah. we, you know, respectfully laugh at your jokes. You could at least return the favor every now and then. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Festus. Uh, Festus, roll me intimidation when you laugh, please. <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> not it's a just, his is not that yeah, good. It's just a weird, like, kind of like, I don't know. It's not scary. It's not super scary right now. But... It's the uh, it's the Willy Wonka laugh from the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka, the most cursed mm. of productions. Absolutely. Um, but the one thing you do sense when Edgar's on your shoulder, Yava, is well, you feel like a sense of closeness and a sense of like it. You almost feel like it doesn't want to leave you right now. Right, Caden, are you are you afraid of a bird? Uh no, not afraid. I'm just being respectful of the bird. You're being respectful of the bird. That sounds like code for I'm afraid. Oh no, 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 not afraid. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Oh, sit As yourself. Like, All right, Oscar. Like, the them like messing mm -hmm. with his fingers, like not afraid. I know, wasn't Bruce technically scared of bats at first? <laughs> hey, guys, uh, <laughs> I need a short break. Uh, I'll try to make... Does anybody need more than a seven, eight-minute break or no? Okay. Uh, I'm going to just take a little bit of a break here and wander and use the restroom and whatnot. So see you guys in the, just 10 past, yeah? See you guys at 10 past. All right, All right easy. Sounds good. I hope you guys don't think that when I was getting help, oh, everyone's already fucking gone. Jesus. God. I'm surprised the rebels didn't do it already. Oh, well, it's a shithole. People want to burn down the nobles' houses and anyone doing half decently for themselves. So Elijah, like Elijah. Wins Elijah winces a little bit as you say that. Sorry. What about no, burning down folks' homes? I mean, I'm don't good for anything. It. I'm I'm uh, literally I will die if we don't do something exciting soon. I am a gnome. I am 343 years old. I have started to bleach. Oh. Let's do something. Well, for context, for those of you not like that happen. for context, for those of you not aware of Pathfinder lore, gnomes. Well, you can you explain it actually, Aaron, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll explain in character. So uh, as gnomes get older, if they're not being having constant excitement and, and fun and, you know, joy and wonder at the world, that's color and life slowly leaches out of them until they either end up dead or worse, grumpy and devoid of joy like this one pointing at 
the detective. I mean, mm. couldn't, couldn't you, like, design some sort of toy to help you with that? So, this is... Are you I'm acting on a large mechanical beetle. I have done the fun toy thing. Oh. I... Okay, fair enough. Fetus, well, are you actually saying that if we keep doing grim stuff, you will die? Well, no, I mean, I'm going to keep myself alive by just dunking on all of you verbally, so I amuse myself at least. I'm just explaining why. Um, hey, Logan, Lang is going. Durkin's face, Logan, he goes spill. Oh, God. No. So that's why this is happening. I knew something was wrong. Lang is going to reach, go over, and just grasp um, Festus on the shoulder oh, and be like, oh, oh, oh. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get you a chew toy. Um, and then pats him on the shoulder. All right, well, unwarranted condescension was a new experience for today, so hooray! I'm st- that gives me at least another five minutes of life. <laughs> he he, about, looks, at, he oh, looks at know, Festus. He looks at Festus. He looks at Durgan. And then he kind of looks back at Festus. He's like, yeah, no, after, after what you guys were saying, not unwarranted. I know, I know, I know, I know. Have you ever tried an instrument, my good fellow? Music has always brought me such joy and energy throughout my entire life. Don't teach him something like that. He will keep me awake all night. Uh, from what I saw yesterday, he doesn't have much choice in how long he sleeps for. Or, in fact, even when he goes to sleep. Why do I keep rolling eights on my vitamin candy? Do y'all, do y'all have bagpipes? No. Yay. I mean, yes. Yeah, I, not on me personally, no. But I'm sure we could find some for you, uh, can't be that much more difficult. I have a, I have a knack for just for instruments in general, but it's the violin right. that really helps me bring the soul out, you know. I mean, we could go do we could go have a whole quest of finding a bagpipe for me to play and annoy everybody, or we could continue on our urgent mission to maybe save your friend or put you know Gadrin's head out the back of his skull with a high velocity impact or whatever we're going to do. I, I wasn't talking about now, uh, but did you? I- Pretty much only have the now. I am three. Certain there's, there's certain things that people would refer to as downtime where we could do these things. All right. Well, I mean, he's already an accomplished songwriter and jingle maker and rapper. So you know, he's already you know musically able. I don't know that we need to add an instrument. Why don't you just keep working on, you know, the lyrics, the words. Not anything How? loud, just quiet, like on paper. Maybe we should move on. Perhaps yeah. we'll find a captain somewhere. We're we doing... can be talking about what to give the gnome a pipe or something, but don't teach him something while we're out in the open. Right. We're doing the, the gnomish tradition of walking and talking. Where are we walking no. to? I think is Do the question. Do you guys see several walls? Blah, 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 Walshin Enik in the map. Walshin Enik. Yes. Is that I pronounce that right? Probably not. Walshin Enik. Walshin Enik with a Russian accent. A Walshin Enik. Said it all. Walshin Enik. Ah, it's actually right nearby. That's where the yeah. guards live. The guards you were trying to avoid not too long ago. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, maybe well, I should have. We have to go to Citadel of Walshinek in order to find nuclear vessels. I don't think anyone gets that. That's not a Zuma reference either. That is old right, Star Trek. I get it. That reference get it? is about yes. as old as me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, All right. Do you guys right. walk and talk? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Always. you make your way to Citadel of Walshinek. So, uh, what is our uh, plan of approach here? Are we... Going to be nice and polite in my way, or are we just going to throw heads at people in Detective Lang's way? Look, let me just talk to them, all right? I'll see if I can Yes, it worked so well for you last time, didn't it, Detective? Absolutely. I mean... You somehow managed to piss off a deck of cards, and I'm still not quite sure how that works. Oh, she pissed me (laughs) off first. (laughs) Before Before we go, let me change. Oh, Oh, yeah. Don't want to... I have a lot of tension. This is, yeah. uh, this Towards is, myself. this is, uh, hmm. Where are the walls? Don't so want to have tension. 
Or the wall. You just screen. created quite a bit. There we go. Hold on. Nope, maybe not. I don't know. Hey, guys, this is a cramped map for some reason, but I'll do my best here. I don't know. Oh, oh, do you see a very cramped map with two guards standing in front of the door? <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, all right. Just, just... Yeah. Um, let me find the Citadel Bolshenek music. There we go. Okay, you approach the front guard. The guard. Hold on, let me find the let me find the description. I think. Uh, I gotta scroll through the PDF. Give me a second. Yes. No. Citadel Volshinek is located in Midland, overlooking the harbor, where it serves as the base of operation for the Corrosion Guard. You guys know this common information. Uh, roll me a recall knowledge macro, Detective Lang, and anybody else that is kind of knowledgeable about the guard, you're welcome to do so. Okay. Uh, you know right now, Detective Lang, with the amount of people that you see, uh, I would say the doors are open right now, because fuck it. Uh, the amount of people that you see around, it looks like a skeleton crew, because all the available guards are in the city. Yes, so there's very few people here. Uh, which puts them at high tension. Um, two nervous guards seem to be standing at the of the yard uh, as they block kunk -kunk their pikes, halberds, whatever you want to call it. And uh, no um, entry. Um, so when Aiden's actually starting to walk up, Lang, when Aiden's starting to walk up to them, uh, like he's like they're getting close to the castle, uh, what he does is um, he actually slides off his trench coat, and he holds it uh, over his shoulder with one thumb, and then his, uh, his other hand goes along, and he actually unstraps the holster, so that way, not only is his weapon clear as day, but he's now holding it by the belt, so the gun is well away from him, just so that way they know that he's like, you know, not a bit, not some fucking psycho. That's fine. So it's like they That's see fine. him. That's puff. fine. Yeah. They still just make them seem less bar of the doors with their pikes and say no entry as they still look nervously at the other five people who didn't probably do the same why is Blind, there no gives them a big friendly wave Good morning guys yeah uh, is uh is field marshal in start off with a diplomacy check detective lang diplomacy roll that is a shit roll i'm going to re-roll that fuck me dead She's busy. If you need a guard to help you with something, I am very sorry, but we're stretched thin. Thin. I under I understand. Um, listen, uh, I've got something that, while it's while it's might be low priority for you guys right now, it's definitely important to have in storage and as a backlog. And I'd like to give it to her personally just to ensure it's uh, safe delivery. She's busy. Uh, seriously, we are recovering from one of the worst riots that has ever occurred in the history yeah, of the Yeah, I've never, uh, they had never seen anything like this. It's hell out there. Um, he's actually gonna, he's gonna, uh, reach down into his, like, shirt pocket and just pull out his packet of cigarettes. Um, and now his, like, his trench coat is now hanging over his entire, like, his left side. He's just gonna open it up. He's just gonna pop uh, three out, uh, and he's just gonna offer one out to each of them. Roll me diplomacy. Like, two two this is only for the cigarettes, but you can attempt it. Of course, I roll well for the cigarettes. One of them will decline because he doesn't smoke. The other one, eh, sure. The cigarettes will give you a plus one circumstance bonus. Right, as a collaborative thing. What would you like to attempt to say or do? Detective Lang, you get one last chance at this. Ching, ching. He's going to light the god cigarette, and then he's going to light his. And All right, well, look. I've got some shit I need to do then, and when she can get to it, can you at least tell her that Aiden, uh, Detective Aiden Lang stopped by to see her? It's involving... Uh, well, 
It's involving Gadrin. These seem... The guard who's smoking with you. Are... Well, roll me a diplomacy. One last chance. You get a plus one circumstance bonus to get this information conveyed. Oh my god, I'm re-rolling. Why is it like this today? There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> About damn time. The guard will nod, pull out a cigarette. All right, I'll let her know. Um, in fact, you know what? Hold on. Wait, really? You're gonna? Yeah, yeah. Just something's off about this. Hold on. He'll run in. You guys have a couple of minutes. Let's see what the rest of you all are doing. If you guys want to talk or do something around at this point in time, and then the guard will come back. So, what do you guys want to do? Mm. <sighs> I could tell a tale if needed, but I don't think the guards will like it. We're wasting their time. We're yeah. wasting their time. Yeah, no, we're in, waiting right now. Are you saying, Yawa? I'm saying, all right, well, go on. Tell us a story. Hmm. Sure. I don't. Hold on, real I don't quick. I'm talking my beard. Hold on. Let's just um, let's shimmy out of the way so that way he uh, so that way the guard can see anyone else that's making their way here. Don't want to be blocking his uh line of sight. Uh, to the guard faces. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I was just. He said making their way to the guards, and then just the song and making his way to the guards faces path and then jailbound. No? All right, okay. all right, just... all right. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Chrisetta Croft will herself make her way out, looking like she hasn't slept all night. Looks at Detective Lang. Oh, yeah, I know him. Of course I know him. Detective, can I help you? It's not a good day. I don't think it's been a good day for any of us. How are you feeling? You really got to ask that. Chrisetta! Uh... Uh, hold on. Yes. Quickly. All right, look. He's gonna, he's gonna like slowly step forwards as he takes his trench coat back down, and he's gonna reach into it and pull out the ledger. And if the guard lets him, he's just gonna slowly step forwards and close the distance. He's gonna offer it out to her. It's not, it's not going to be your priority right now. Not, not with everything going no, on. Not this at is all. Gadron Lamb's. Okay. It's going. This is Gadron Lamb's ledger. It has everything in it. I, I cracked it. I can show you the method I used to crack it. Okay. Um, Detective, just... I understand. She will hand it back to you and say, um, Detective, normally under, norm uh, under normal circumstances, I'd be more than happy to reward you for this and give you a talk even for hours. Uh, you know what? Roll me a recall knowledge, uh, Detective Lang. Okay, Detective Lang, you get just like a, like a guilty bad feeling. Priscilla has been dealing with the entirety of the city going ham wild, and you handing up the ledger just while might be important to you is at the very last of a priority list. All right. In terms yeah. of, in terms of like, Hey, this is a cool case we can crack under normal circumstances. Chrisetta Croft would have been like, awesome. Here's 25 gold or whatever the ledger is worth. I think it's 25 gold in this very specific scenario. She is pissed that you interrupted her to do that. All right. Uh, because yeah, she's currently, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have, like, um, she says, if you have anything more important to tell me, you can do that now. Otherwise, I'm going back to the office. Um, yes, uh, excuse me. Is there is there any oh. news from the castle? Hi. Um, yeah. The the the, the castle. I, I, yeah. Just, um, I just have a friend friend there. I'm, I'm worried about it. That's all. All right. Look, I know you're busy, but this ledger. I know it's not important right now, but it will be important in the future for, to go take down that son of a bitch. I, I understand, Detective. Cannot... I definitely understand. Hold on, Pablo. Let me let me just yeah, finish yeah. real quick. All right, he's just um. You take the ledger. You're going to keep it secure because I can trust that you're going to keep it secured. 
look, fuck the rewards. I'll come back in. I'll come back in a bit. And you know, if you want to, if we want to talk compensation, I'm sure these few that help me are definitely going to want to. Then we can then. But it's better in your hands than mine, because I, for all I know, I could walk down twenty feet and take a stray crossbow bolt through the chest, and that's it. Okay, I'll stick it under the massive pile of paperwork that I have. Thank you. Uh, you know that Chrisette is not normally an asshole, and she is not uh, usual. But you, you having known her for years. The amount of stress that she's gone through last night, plus the fact that she hasn't slept, is making her cranky. So you would you would forgive her for this, but she does sarcastically say, yeah, "I'll just stick gonna... it under the paper." Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else, Detective? Chrisetta, seriously, uh, Detective. Look, look, you look, you go deal with it. I'll come back. Look, I'll come back in in a few hours, maybe, uh, maybe in uh, in the evening. Like, look. You might be you're, you're dead. Brooch? You're... Did somebody say brooch? Uh, no, yeah. Brooch. Oh, okay. I pronounce it correctly. I see. I see. I don't I didn't want to hit you with everything at once. Um we also have a bit of a personal delivery to make to the queen. Um okay. Queen's we actually found the queen's brooch in Gaden's possession. Yep. yep. Oh uh Chrisida! Shut up! Okay, um... Okay, that's actually something that uh, requires my attention. That brooch has been missing for the last... God, how long has it been gone for? It doesn't matter. Um, you have it? Yep. Okay. Uh, basically, after we kind of maybe um... Okay, it's, it has been registered took, with us as stolen property. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it, it kind of maybe uh, got into our possession, and he does scratch the back of his head as he goes, after we kind of killed Gadron's pet uh, crocodile and searched his stuff. No, that's good. That's really good. It's been registered, registered as stolen property, and the queen is offering a reward. Um... Chrisetta, seriously, someone's dying. Okay, okay, go to the castle, tell them you have the brooch. They will probably offer you a reward for it. I have to go. I am very sorry, Detective. Uh, uh, just just look, go to the castle, seriously. Let them know you have it. Look, look, it's all good. Uh, how about this? I'll come back in the evening, and if come you're still not being in the run through. Evening, I think it should be a little bit calmer than... Thank you. Detective, she says it sincerely, but you can he's, definitely he, as check, she's yeah. as she's leaving, he's gonna as she's leaving, he's gonna call out. I can't remember, by the way, are you an ale or a wine person? Uh, she'll shout out uh whiskey, although she says it begrudgingly. Detective Lang, um, as the guards kind of get back into their posts, uh, he's gonna step back. Yeah, you did you did notice Chrisida like just so tired, like you know, imagine an all nighter. But imagine all nighter where you have to manage a hundred guards and just make your make sure the city is not totally collapsed. So, um, and I think uh, with that, you guys are basically dismissed. Detective Lane, hmm? you think we should get them a letter so they don't think that we stole it from your friends? Well, there? if we're rocking up to it, I'm hoping common sense will take over. And, well, you know, they won't try killing us. Well, That's why I wanted to go here so first. Yeah. I have never seen her like that. She's she's a damn fine guard. Finest you'll ever see in this city. But, yeesh. Wait, why did you want to go here first to die? I don't understand. I wanted to go here first because I gave her the ledger. Festus, that ledger that holds it holds everything right but she didn't care about the ledger read the room she cared about the the brooch okay <laughs> i already look i knew <laughs> that she didn't care about the ledger at the time the priority is going to raise as the city calms down because gadron has been a thorn in the city side for too long if it's in the castle that means it's secured and if it's secured that means that even if I get shot out here, killed, whatever, that ledger is safe. 
and that ledger is going to bring him down. Right. You, but in terms of the immediate reward, it's the it's the brooch to the castle that we want to follow up on. Yes. Fuck the immediate reward. All right. More pressing I mean, I'd things rather going not. on. I'd rather gold. I'd rather actually just have it. <sighs> All right. Hey, we're walking and talking, right? Walking and doing what gnomes do. Walking and talking. Yeah. Walking and talking. All right. Is there, look, is there any guards near the gate? Near the bridge? Yeah, actually, that was about what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bridge, we're right there. We might as well the check. The bridge is open at this point in time. The chaos from last night has been completely uh, evaporated. There are guards near the bridge. They're giving heavy, just striking. Um, in fact, I think, let me just see here. Uh, okay. They're giving heavy, piercing looks at everybody crossing past. And there's not a lot of people crossing past. You guys manage to, if you want to cross the bridge and make your way to the other side without any, they, you won't have any issues with them. They will see you as upstanding citizens. And well, actually, you know what? Fuck it. One of them recognizes Elijah for a second. Hey, you're the singer. Hey, and we'll um, we'll uh, you know, uh, musician. But yes, yes, it's a nice, nice to see a pleasant face. As uh, I see someone uh, appreciative of the arts, my fellow. He'll just give a good little hearty pat on the back. And they will let you pass through if you are interested in going to the shoreline during call. You might as well check up on uh, Durgan's friend. I feel like it's only fair. He's been waiting for the past, God, I don't know, 14 hours. Hey, it'll be nice to meet my friend once again to see if she's safe. Or if the shoreline is safe. Oh, I hope it's safe. I could use a drink before we go to the castle. <laughs> Can you please say that out loud, Aaron? Please sing that out loud for us. Nope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Writing song. I thought you were one hundred percent committed to your character, Aaron. What is this? <laughs> Can I sing it out in my gold lax voice? Singing no. What is this about a book? The one I'm writing. Help! I'm writing a big bug. Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring back Goldlax real quick just to torture uh, Pablo because no, 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 he hates no, no, it when no, I do yeah. this. Goldlax is no, he's not in this campaign. Let's oh, go to too shore. sexy for my bug. Too sexy for my bug. Bug's gonna leave me. All right, we're gonna go to the <laughs> shore. <laughs> we're gonna go to the shoreline drink hall. Um, and believe it or not, it's bumping. It's full. It's not a lot of people drinking. They're more just. It's a common. Um, it's a common area, right? I put two dragons. So yeah, it's fine. It's a common yeah, area because I don't see anything. Fair enough. Uh, it's a common area where you know I'm just gonna ref. Ignore the shouting in the background, guys. There's everything's fine. Everything's fine. There is no riots going on. Actually, let me just put normal street music. I can't even hear the shouting. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do you guys not on. have Sirenscape up? I have Sirenscape turned all the way up. It just, I, I don't know. Ever since you added Sirenscape, it like broke everything. I got an idea. I'm going to exit this and I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to clear my cache. Maybe, I don't know why, but I feel like that might help. Is nothing, has nothing been playing for this last? No music, nothing. It has been dead silent for me. I, I get it. Okay, thank you. I you know what, them, Francisco, thank you. Nobody else hears like random street music or whatever? I don't nope. hear music, but I, I hear like street yeah, sounds. Yeah, street sounds. Okay, you know, I'm just going to put some tavern music on. How about now? Well, I think it's because I reconnected three times. I don't hear anything. No, I haven't got anything. Uh, I hear no anything. tavern music right now? Sadly nope. not. No yeah. data. Oh my god, I have 2.1 gigabytes of cookies and site data and hold a gigabyte on, of cache. On. Hey, guys who are not hearing anything, please refresh for me one just one more time and see if you can hear something. If you're not hearing any music, if you do hear music, then don't refresh. And Red, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I only refreshed three times. I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, you know what the right. issue is? He hasn't done enough random... Um, uh, oh man, I, words are failing me. It's fine. Still no encounter for some I, reason. My dice rolls are failing me. Yes. 
I just cleared my cache. So ranting, that's what. Is he under enough ranting about Gadrin? That's that's what oh, the issue is. Oh, are you trying to? Why he's not hearing anything? You were going to say random encounter. That too. No. Sirenscape is gone. It's hmm. gone. Yeah, like there used to be four bars, and now Sirenscape is gone. I just have three: the playlist, ambient, interface. Oh, that's great. I'm glad everything's. I broke it okay. even further. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hey, um, it's fine. It's a. It, you guys do hear the tavern. You do hear the tavern music, though. Right? I hear music now. Yeah. All right. I just refreshed. I do have the music. No Sir music. Escape has turned all the way down for me now. Java. What the fuck? Not even normal I music. Not even. I, normal. I don't even have. I don't even have. Yeah. I guess I'll refresh again. Everything's breaking. Can I, I take a touch out and I, blow on it? I blame Admin Alex, but for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, you guys make your <laughs> way inside the tavern. I heard that. Thalia is absolutely just jam packed with orders. People aren't drinking that much. They're more here to just talk about the last day's events. In fact, do you guys grab a table? Is my question. Uh, a lot of people storm into the middle of the room. Ah, he walks in and he yells, Talia, where are you? Elijah. I've not been here in such places such a long time. He's going to whip out his violin and he is going to. Da, 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 da. Uh, and he clicks on the right one. Elijah, I have a quick question for you. If you don't mind indulging me. Absolutely. Were you once upon a time well off? Yes. Were you considered to be in the higher class of corrupt Absolutely. society? Mm. And would you be recognized by random comments? Potentially, depending on uh, what dice you might potentially be about to roll. Well, initiative. I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding, but <laughs> effectively you storm into, you storm, you walk into the room, uh, people look, and then immediately you get a, hey, it's that music boy, hey, yeah. rich, fancy, prim, proper one, and you will get, uh, within, like, seconds, like, three, uh, rough looking, I don't know if I have, we have, if we are to roll initiative, we might, but we get three rough looking, commoners just standing up. Hey, pretty boy. You're the uh you're the one that uh makes that music, huh? I am, yes. I'm about to if you'd uh, allow me to give you a nice <coughs> rendition to help with your drinks, ease them down. How about you give us a uh, part of your profits to Hmm. Well, you see my my good fellow, <laughs> the only problem about that is uh, the majority of my profits were burnt down last night. Bullshit. Roll a diplomacy. Yeah. Have you seen the marble dome? No. They'll they'll back off slightly. Elijah, you've got a great roll. Like seven. It's still level two. Just keep that in mind. That's a success. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you're still level two. Like you rolling a six, seven for you is still great. As they, uh, I heard about that. Yes, that's that's where I lived. Uh, above it, as a matter of fact, oh, I ran in, pretty into rich the boys now. Poor thing. rich boys. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look! Just shut your mouth and listen to this, please. Oh. <laughs> Yama will swing her arm around his shoulder, be like, "Listen, listen. He's a, he's a good one. He's had a hard night. He just wants to play you some music so that you can, you know, drink your drinks, enjoy yeah, your geez. evening." They're just Come wrong. On. Don't listen to them. Uh, Set, settle down, boys. You defuse. You guys defuse the situation, and, and you actually do start playing Elijah. What do you want to play? Oh shit! Yeah, the playlist thing that I keep. Oh, I keep Hang on. Sex and for my bug. Uh, yeah. Should I just put a random? Come on, one? fastest. You can sing this new song up here now. Come on, jump up with me. Do you want me to just put a random one up, uh, Elijah? Or do you want to? Do you want to uh, play? hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, 
uh alex or admin you posted in the wrong <laughs> in the wrong channel i think um there, 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 there. got you there got you there banjo music Ugh. oh did you just send no uh, just tell me the no the song i have it it's in there oh, okay, it's one okay, in okay, there okay, 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 okay. So that one should be in there there we go i got think it, got it. I, i'm playing it right now so Dang. um you go to like a corner and do that i'm assuming or like oh, a, just in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> that works for me. Wherever, dancing around as the music starts playing up. It's fine. Durgan, Thalia will look. Her eyes will lock with you. Hey, Durgan, how you doing? I'm doing fine. What about you? I was wandering about the city, and people suddenly scream about bloody murder. Houses burning down, and we almost got killed. That, yeah, that's what happened last night. Uh, it's been a it's been a hell of a, uh, hell of a night, but it was great here. We just, uh, most people just hung out in here and drank, and if there were any troublemakers, they just beat them up. People like the short line drink all. No, it was like a normal day with a little bit more beating up, I think. That's good to know. Good that at least there's some honest people, even if they're drunkers, doing God's business here, keeping the place proper. I love this song. It reminds me of the home in the Iron Mountains. Well, tell me about it. Uh, Thalia will, uh, she'll grab a, she'll grab a, uh, one of the barmaids to, uh, run off and do some work. And she'll just, uh, do you tell the story, Dragon? Sure, just give me a second. <laughs> All right. While you tell the story, are the rest of you grabbing a table and or whatever, or are you just hanging out? Up to you guys. Um, I was I was promised a drink that was on fire. Should we belly up to the bar? Or are we gonna get a table? Well, I, I don't. I, I bar's kind of high for me. I was just gonna sit here on this table. I it. You can sit together or separate. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. All, all G. Um, there is something I wanted to do, which is uh, a quick rumor. There's a lot of rumors. Right. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Jurgen's cooking up his story. Detective, did you want to do anything? Sorry? Yeah, he's going to order a... Um... Sorry, I'm actually looking. Uh, sorry. Uh, he's gonna ask for a old law whiskey. A what? It's an old law whiskey. It is a single malt variety that has been made for nearly two hundred years, targeted at the soldier community. I actually looked it up because I didn't know if we had bourbon in this. So, the old law whiskey is his. <clears throat> drink a choice. Sure. Whoever wants a drink, let's make things easy. One silver for the expensive drinks, one copper for a beer. Yeah. Uh, Thalia will li be listening to Dragon's story, and yeah, I got you, honey. Um, as you guys just well, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. ready. Go ahead. So I'm just waiting for. Go me. ahead, Dragon. I shortened it because the other one was way too long, apparently. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let me tell you of an iron hold. Nelson in the heart of the mountains, a fortress and a forge, where the stone sings and the fires roar. It's a place of unbreakable walls and gates that stand tall, carved with the faces of our ancient lords. The dwarves of the iron hold are master smiths, their crafts prized far and wide. Swords and armor from our forges are the stuff of legend. But the Iron Hole's true strength lies not in metal, but in its people, stout hearted and steadfast. In the great hall, bond stronger than steel, a forge and all sworn that a ship our destiny 
Our ale vaults hold brews as rich as gold, warming the bones against the deep earth's chill. Iron Hold is more than a mine or a stronghold. It's a community bound by honor and tradition in peace. Our laughter fills the halls in war. Our might is unyielding. The spirit of Iron Hold's folk is its true treasures enduring as the mountains themselves. Solid. Get a hero point, Durgan. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. That was badass. <laughs> I could I could have Dragon sing me songs or read me stories. Songs. Um, I'm guessing I'm guessing Aiden got his drink right, real you quick. You absolutely did, yeah. How much did it cost again? Uh, one silver. One silver. All right. As as Dragon spins his tail, um, Aiden actually leans over, and his focus just locks onto Dragon. And he actually I have a drink of Pepsi right here, so I can like lean over and do this, <laughs> and he's just. Damn. Um, I have a problem now. I have three hero points. Good. What's wrong with that? I haven't used them. Well, maybe you can start using them one of the days or something. Hey, guys. Uh, I am actually going to give you a really cool thing. But I need you guys to actively participate in this. So, as uh, you guys are sitting around the table... I'm do the rest of you sit around the table? Are you still talking to Thalia Durgan? Yes? He's talking a bit more of his home. Mm -hmm. What did Aaron post? And he suddenly stares at Lang as he says that. And goes back to the, uh, the talk. Fair enough. I need a... Oh, who died? Oh, okay. That's fine. I need the group that is on the bottom south table to roll me all of you a public perception if you are interested in hearing something interesting going around town. I will attempt this. That's about as good as I'm likely to do. You know what? I think Durgan will also. No, Durgan, you get a free one. Don't worry. Okay. You gave a story. Caden, right. uh, hey, you want to roll a public perception while you're having some drinks? There's a lot of people here, a lot of people chatting. Uh, and I'm going to give... Durgan! Af are you talking or listening is the question. Are you just talking or listening? Is this the same song? Well, is, this, is this another song? Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the I'll save some songs right. for later. Yeah, he is mostly focusing on telling about his home and talking just generally. Fair enough. Not looking too much around because he getting a bit too excited. Fair enough. Yava, what are you doing? Really quickly, if you don't mind me asking. Like, why am I why am I failing <laughs> at this? Yeah, time? why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time that Yava has been in a tavern or had any sort of time off in four years. Uh, this is basically the first time she's left the Arcona estate in four years. Uh, and so she is far too excited and isn't really paying attention to one conversation. She's more like uh, just taking in the entire tavern, not really listening to one person. Mm. Festus, you pick up on this old older looking gentleman he's actually mumbling to himself because i think that's funnier and he's gonna say the academy stores are closed they're closed i was gonna go there and be a wizard this sucks well never too late for some people to excel i suppose Caden, <laughs> you are adept at picking up rumors around town, and you will do so as you hear. Uh, no corrosive monarch has ever died of old age. No corrosive monarch has ever produced an heir after being crowned. They call it the curse of the Crimson Throne. No way in hell would I ever Guys, he said it. I'll drop. He's, Come on. No, he said it. Time to stop playing. In hell, whatever. Good campaign, guys. Sure, if I got crowned. 
you both can roll a recall knowledge check to ver verify this rumor, by the way, if you're interested individually. Though. One second. And then also curse stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will. I will do a recall knowledge to see if I if if the academy is closed or if this guy was just not good enough and they were just trying to be polite. Caden, uh, as far as he can tell, this is a perfectly valid rumor, and as you've heard it before, uh, Festus, as far as you can tell. The Academy is one of those hoity-toity, like, hey, we're going to close on the smartest, uh, smart, smallest signs of trouble, and would kind of check out as well. Yeah? Um, it's like an inverse Waffle House. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and Detective Lang, anything you were doing? Sorry. Um, Could I roll a crafting check? Just as, like, as he's swishing around the... um glass of uh whiskey Go he's like it. taking a sip yeah okay so uh what he's looking for is he's just kind of trying to like figure out like it's i guess he's trying to figure out its age just based off the taste alone and like you know the feeling as it goes down he didn't give you the uh best stock Probably because she doesn't have the best stock. This is a commoner's, common worker's drinking hall. And whilst, uh, it's not like she didn't do it intentionally. It's just that's the best stock she had, right? That is what it is. All right. Could I roll another crafting check to try and think, figure, think of a way to make it taste better? Like something it might just be missing? You can use the same roll. Use the same roll? If you want, yeah. It's, yeah, I'll do yeah, that. I'll yeah. just use the same roll. Yeah, he's just... He's swirling it around, just thinking about it. Elijah, are you still performing? Yeah, Elijah is 100% just kind of dancing and twirling around, fully invested in the performance that he's doing, because like, the last 24 hours have been a uh, completely new and very stressful kind of experience for him. So he's just taking a moment to just savor the chance to perform and get lost in the music once again. You rolled the natural, or uh, not a natural, you rolled the 19 for your performance, which is pretty decent at this level. Uh, the crowd seems definitely impressed, and uh, you can choose to, after you're done, either mingle with the fans and get some sort of kind of information, for lack of a better word, or you could just bow and op take out your hat and grab a little coinage. Up to you. Okay, cool. So let me know when you want to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Durgan, are you done with your tail? Indeed. All right. Thalia leans over and tells you, uh, tells you that it was a really mighty interesting tale, and, uh, glad to have you back. Did you find your Durgan boy? My Durgan boy? Sorry, your Gadrim boy. I'm, I'm, uh, my word just, my brain just farted there. Did you find your Gadrim boy? Hey, we found his pit and killed him. We actually had two, a shark. It was easy. But the crocodile killed one of our companions. That's... Didn't know her much, but she was mighty. That was a... That's horrible. And you didn't kill Gadron either? Oh my. He was gone before we found him. That's like not a good Son deal. Son of a bitch might have been old, but he was slippery as hell. Can I smoke in here? Uh, you look around as you ask that question. Everybody's smoking. Everybody's smoking? Then yeah, he's just gonna... Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's jump to Festus, Caden, and Yaba. Feel free to uh, let me know if you guys are chatting about anything. You can spend... So it's what? 11 around the time you get here. It's around lunchtime. That's what people are drinking. You can spend an hour... You can spend more time if you'd like and uh, figure out more stuff about the city, or you can leave. Up to you guys. What do you guys do? Okay, I think Elijah's going to finish his performance and then just start mingling with the people that might have gathered around. Mm -hmm. Elijah, um, you start talking to people, and whilst I'm not going to make a big thing out of this, you do learn some relevant information. 
<laughs> no, what I heard? I heard King Eldred had like a secret affair. If what I heard is true, he was murdered in his sleep by one of his paramours. Oh my dear, that's very delicious gossip. Where, where on earth did you hear that? Or, you know, can't you uh, divulge your sources? Oh, it's just a rumor flying around town. Queen Losa was saying something about they might have a culprit. A culprit? What, in, in the castle, hidden away already? Oh, I, I don't know about that. I, yeah. I'm probably just putting two and two together. It's just, if it makes sense, wouldn't it, would it not? They have a culprit. They'll be there. Whoever the culprit is, if it's a secret paramour, huh, she's probably rotting in their jail cells right now. And as she says that, Elijah kind of just comes to his senses. Oh, um, uh, uh, yes, but, but probably. Um, I, uh, uh, yes, a uh, pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh come, but, wait, can uh, I have we, your we, autograph? Probably go. Oh. Uh, we we should we, we should probably go. There's a uh, still training to deal with. Actually, we've lost time. I got. Uh, why did you let me go up there and perform? Ugh, I always do this. Just lose hours on end. You look. You look like you're having fun. I mean, I was. It's uh, it's what I do. It's it's always fun to perform to people in front of people. See this, you know, the cheer and joy that you bring, particularly in times of hardship such as this. You know, music touches all of us. It doesn't need language to understand. You, you just feel it. But I get a little lost sometimes. And uh, yeah, yeah, my friend is still, uh, you know, in the castle. Yeah. Do you think that she was having an affair with the king? Friend yet? Oh, my God, heavens no. Uh, but as as uh, as you as he says that, you can sense like a little bit of doubt. Flash across his face. <laughs> he's trying to put like two and two together. I don't like it. The math he's coming up with. Elijah. Did that not do it? I did press the macro. Text selector drop down. Oh, okay. Again, yeah. Uh, I did. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now Perfect. it's done it. Trinia was poor once upon a time, right? Like, she mm -hmm. grew up in the streets. Um, she didn't, personality-wise, you don't think she feel like the type to have an affair with the king? Because the king was old and, you know, whatever, like, disgusting. But, like, some doubt remains in your mind. She was poor. She could be... Uh... And I also just think, like, say, maybe just, like, the events of what's happened. Elijah's just not thinking clearly. He's just... Mm -hmm. His brain is automatically kind of just going to the worst scenario because he doesn't know what's happening to his friend. Indeed. He's just put any idea that's entering his head, he's kind of entertaining the idea for at least a little bit. But no, no, no dear, no, she, she she wasn't like that. Trini is fabulous. I think you'll like her quite a lot. She's, uh, well, she keeps me grounded at times, yes. <laughs> Fantastic hmm. artist. Right. And like you two are living um, together. Uh, no, no, heavens no, she doesn't live with me. Uh, we tried that once. She didn't like the string of ladies that were coming in and out at every day and night, so she left. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. So, I mean, even if she was, you know, having an affair with the king, you know. But she, she, <laughs> she wasn't. All right. Well, I'm just saying, like, if she was in the dungeons, you know, she probably was safe from... Why would she be in the dungeons? Wasn't that what that person said? They're like, I don't know. It's loud in here. I thought they said that. <laughs> <laughs> I should be in the dungeons. I mean, if they if they caught her in flagrante delicto, as they say, she probably just they probably just killed her. So it's probably mm. she's probably not. I wouldn't worry about her being in the dungeons. She's probably either fine or death just dead. Aaron, I mean, Jenny, what? Sorry. I, I'm assuming I, I, I speak common, dwarven, elven, and fey, and I didn't understand any of what you just said there. It must be a different language. <laughs> uh, I think I think he's having a nervous, like a nervous breakdown. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, I, what I think we should do is get real drunk and then go try to meet the queen. That seems like the the trajectory. <laughs> no, no, right. no, 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 Fessus, no. 
N no, that's not how you operate in fine society. I can understand that you haven't been around it much, um, so you wouldn't really have like that kind of rough baseline. Um, but turning mm. up absolutely shit faced is not a great way to make first impression. I'm just saying, all the nobles I've ever had to deal with have taken a big drink right afterwards, so I just assumed it was like a continuous problem. No, I think there's one very common de de denominator there, my friend. Yeah, they were all nobles. Mm, yeah. That's exactly the one, yes, absolutely. Uh, Intelligence shining through there, my boy. Okay, then another uh, barmaid uh, starts pouring you another whiskey, or giving you another... I don't know how this works, I don't drink, I don't know, but pouring you another whiskey, sure. Uh, uh, Elijah, you do you urge the party to move on, or do you are you mm, absolutely? Okay. He's trying to urge everyone to move on. Does the party dump over Durgan and Lang during their deep conversation? Yeah, excuse me, um, fellows, fellows. Look, we, we came here, we were searching for Durgan's watering hole. It's here, it's, it's still fine. There's uh, uh, there's one person who's the very news. much. Still very much living, I'm sure, and he'll kind of like do a casual glance over at the person who told him the rumor. Rumor, um, um, and we 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 need to go, you know, <laughs> rescue her. She is my friend. Um, I feel I've been more than polite in accompanying you here. Um, I could have said no. Let's go and find her straight away, but I didn't. Um, so now we should go. Can I do a perception check, or would it just be free because of how suddenly Elijah's attitude has changed? Yeah, it's free. It's free. What happened, Elijah? What do you mean, what happened? What happened? Because five minutes ago, you were playing your violin and dancing and being all giddy, and now you're here looking like if someone made a floorboard creak behind you, you'd shoot up through the roof. Hey, look, all I'm saying is, yes, I was enjoying myself. But I kind of got a little bit lost, all right? And we've been here an hour, and um, my friend is still not here. So I would quite like it if we would leave. Thank you. All right. Well, ma'am, nice meeting you. Thank you for the drink. Oh, and um, he's just going to whisper this in Detective Lang's ear as Festus walks up. Um, this one wants to get shit-faced before we go to the castle, so I think we should probably just leave. No, he is not. I will drag him by his scruffy, gnomey hair. I if mean, I have ears. I know they're full of hair because I'm old, but I can hear you. <laughs> we don't want another drunk person here. <laughs> what is, what it, I have figured out what would have added to that. Um, what would have added to that drink? By the way, Pablo. Yeah, shiver. I told you. Uh yeah. I I just don't know. So you could welcome to make that. Up. Okay. Can yeah. I just free? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. By the way, the old law whiskey. Uh, add some cinnamon to it. All right. Sounds weird, but believe me, gives it some kick. Just for fun, roll me diplomacy. Not not really that uh, important role, but feel free to do so. Regardless, Elijah drags the part. <laughs> sure. <laughs> not an important role. I get a twenty-six. <laughs> what is today? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, at this point, Elijah drags people by the ears out. Not literally, but I'm assuming drags people out and... Oh, yeah. Either that or he's just gonna leave and walk up to the castle by himself. So, with that being said and done, do you guys head towards the castle? Yeah, I also have another question. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Anyone interested in extending the session, if Pablo's down for it? Because like... I'm really having a lot of fun and I kind of want to tit it up by another hopper. I, I, I mean, I, maybe, but that does mean we have to pay Pablo more money. I I, um, I literally can't. I have a tutoring appointment. Oh, that's all good. Right after. Yeah, that's fine, man. That's all good. It's okay. Thanks, Thanks, guys, Aaron. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll end Fuck off, Alex. <laughs> I'll end with cliffhanger, I'm sure. Not very nice. <laughs> you know I love you, Pookie. <laughs> so... Uh, this is a non-event. You guys are welcome to walk and talk on the way, but the way to the castle, other than some guard patrols that you see and more people out on the streets, it seems things are calmed down, although uh, you get this vibe. Uh, somebody roll me an underworld lore, please. Oh, yes, sir! Yes, sir! Public? 
Yeah. Yes, sir. No, sir. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Yep. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, those are all the underworld lords. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, you. And so <laughs> if they think they think it's actually just venom, but actually they inject you with venom and digestive enzymes, so you dissolve from the inside out, and then they drink the slurry out. And that's how spiders work. I didn't need that information. <laughs> now I will get nightmares. <laughs> Uh, hey. don't worry. Unless we run into a giant spider, we should be fine. Pablo. That's... Um. <laughs> so this is how, you know, the aristocracy keeps the poor people poor is by zoning, right? So you buy a house and then they stick all the shit that no one else wants around it. Where, you know, in near your neighborhood, it, it decreases your value. And so then the rich people, they get richer because the properties are worth more and the poor people get poor. And so by having maybe every decade, we burn everything down to the ground, we can actually equalize the amount of money that goes around the town. See? And so this is the way that we can yeah. prevent the aristocracy from using zoning as a weapon. Makes a lot of sense to me because, you know, ever since I opened my shop, the property values in my my little street have just plummeted and I don't even <laughs> understand why. Uh, by the way, Java, uh, I'm no. just going to give you the free underworld lore that the other people failed. All right. I'm just going to give it to you for free because of what you said. Um, there's going to be another riot tonight. You, you know this for a fact. Yes. You know this for a fact. There's going to be another, like, another little bit of altercation going on tonight. So maybe stay off the streets. Uh, but yeah. Uh, regardless, hey, let's make your way to the Castle Corvosa. It's pretty safe for now. Uh, and let's. It's a, a horrible way to control a country where we throw us at. We don't rule by the gold, we rule by the guilds. Would Aiden have been able to buy his next pack of cigarettes? Aiden? Roll me a 1d100. Fuck. Oh, no. Wow. I was not a high DC, but you fucked that up. <laughs> Aiden, the, close, tonight. Yeah, the closest yeah. corner shop you went to has been boarded up. The next corner shop you go to has sold out all, basically everything. People are preparing for a, you know, people are just you know, it's it's like fucking COVID. Panic not, buying. Yeah, panic Lunch buying. Up. Whatever whatever you do when, when people and shit happens. Most of the shops are either closed or sold out. And uh, you could probably spend like some downtime, like a couple of hours, eventually wandering through town and buying a pack of cigarettes, finding a pack of cigarettes. But you don't, th I don't think you're going to yeah. do that right now. You still have a few left. Did, so. did, did the word about the riot happening get relayed, by the way? Or is everyone blissfully in ignorant uh, except Yava? Yeah, Yava's. Yava might like do like little like. Mm, yeah, I have a feeling that, that we're gonna want to be inside. You know, hunkered out. Like we're gonna need to have a, a, a safe place to sleep. That's all I'm saying. I need to prioritize that. You know, before the sun goes down. Okay. You decide to return the breach and thus let me give you a quick description by the time you uh the streets should be safe there's a thick tension remaining in the air obviously we're looting will erupt again um hey castle corvosa this long shadow looms over the city as a terrifying testament to the power whatever uh, mighty overlord ruled this land thousands of years ago. I mean, this is a magnificent achievement of architecture. This castle walls and spires rise high into the sky above. Uh, da, 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 da. The structure looms even higher. Seems to have a... Uh, maybe not. Uh, okay. All right. Castle Carosa can be approached from all four directions. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Castle Corvosa can be approached from all four <laughs> directions. Ramps and stairways allow access up to the side of the structure. You would 
Seek normally petitions to the monarchy. You guys would know this. At least, you know, Elijah would know this if anybody else would have ever wanted to know about this uh, bureaucracy. You're welcome to just know this. Would approach from the broad ramp, wait in a public courtyard, hope to speak to the corvosts and guards on duty, and hope to be heard. Right now, in these frantic times, the castle has been locked tight and bristles with swords and crossbows. As you approach even the street up a front, Guards demand to know your business and as you approach, and I'm assuming you provide a reasonable answer like, we want to return the missing brooch. Um, real quick, please Aiden is actually going report, to- Please tell me a reasonable answer like you want to report the missing brooch. Sorry, I'm messing with you. What are you saying, Matt? All right. Aiden, like, as they're approaching the castle- where it's basically royalty supreme. He looks at the well-dressed Yava. I'm assuming you're well-dressed, right? Yava? Yeah. Like, she's at no. least, like, you know, she's not even slightly fancy. No, she's dressed in, uh, like, a. she looks like a maid. She's dressed as a maid. Fuck. I thought she looked, like, really aristocratic in it. Fuck. She was a maid for a real no. aristocratic family. So would that still kind of make her look fancy or I just don't... flat out no? I mean, I no. guess I did say she like her clothes are, are like really well made, but they're obvious. Like you look at her and you immediately know that she's like a servant in someone's home. All right. Well, he's going to look at everyone, um, inclu including looking down at himself. So you have you have the the um, inspiring but rugged dwarf. You have the very shady Caden. You have the chatty golden retriever energy Elijah. And you have old man Festus. And then you also have other old man Lang, who somehow seems to be in worse shape than Festus. Yeah, and that's a special party. Yeah. He's gonna Sorry. he's gonna reach over and he's gonna grab Yava on the shoulder and then just slowly bring her over towards the front, and be like, Yeah, I think you're the best dressed for this. I mean, if, if if you have a minute, I can I can get changed. No. Why <laughs> why ever not? Because I'm not. I, I not have this in my possession, minute. sir, for such moments. <laughs> Should have changed on the way. I mean, I can do if no one's you know. It's all right. It's all right. I can, get like, blush. I, I can be nice. Down. State your business in front of Castle Corvosa. Uh, Corvosa. uh oh, she'll give like a little wave. Um, hi. Me and my party here, we have stumbled upon something of great value to the Queen, and it is our deepest desire to return this precious, precious thing to the Queen. And so we ask. Please, if you would let us through and if we could have an audience with someone who could get this beautiful and expensive brooch where it belongs. You say you have the Queen's brooch? Let's see it. Yes, of course. Um, could we do this inside? It's, I just, you know, there's a lot of ruffians about. Roll of diplomacy. Lots of rioting. What'd you say? Diplomacy. Indeed. This is where I find out she has a really bad diplomacy modifier. She Man, doesn't have a really bad diplomacy modifier. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, that is a good... That is a success, job. Alright. They will lead you somewhat into a secluded... More secluded area. Prove. Prove you got it. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, she's going to look around. Caden, are you the one? Caden, yes. Caden, do you flash the like we, got, oh, really? we could also try to prove it logically. We could just be like, well, we said we have it, and therefore we must have it, because why would we say we have it if we didn't? We can use logical tautology. Or he's showing it. Okay, that's easier now. Yeah, that'll yeah. work. Have we got have we got sexy Caden? They, uh, no. I th is it, is that's, it, that's the important thing. Uh, switch your token, Caden. Yeah. You can do that if you'd like. Uh, Right-click on your token and switch it. Regardless, when they see the bruise, they'll, okay, they'll, Long story short, they'll talk amongst themselves, converge, make you wait like around 30 minutes, give or take, like a long ass time while some guards go confirm with the superiors, confirm with their superiors, and eventually 
the guard comes back. I mean, if you want to talk during this time, but we, we've talked a lot today. Do, do you want to talk during this time? I'm waiting for Festus to say something. I'm asleep right now. It's a, I can have an hour. I'm going to sleep after five minutes in action. All right. You, uh, you, they come. Do you have to leave at the very top of the hour or very half hour? Uh, no, I, I have a little bit of, I have okay. a little bit, of, a little bit of leeway. Right. That's fine. So I'm going to try and get this. Uh, so they come back. You will have the queen herself has requested an audience with you. Please follow us. As you are immediately taking um, up. Yep. Is there any chance just before he says that for Elijah just to do a quick group puddle or no? Is it just you're you, going straight? You there? had 30 minutes to change, by the way, which I'm assuming you might have. No, done. I'm not saying change. I'm just going to be to the party. Just don't be smart asses. There's, there's an etiquette for meeting the queen. <laughs> That's more the kind of thing he's trying to instill to them. Um, You could. Well, you so could just be an ass then. Got it. Yeah, you you can let them know privately. Uh, is that what you want to let them know? Is there anything else you want? Yeah, pretty much. Just kind of like in their ear as we're walking. Just, just, Yava, just, you know, tone it down a little. And Festus, your facts are interesting, but maybe not in front of the Queen. And Caden, don't throw a head at them. Definitely a no. <laughs> I mean, uh, Did you... Detective Lang, sorry, not Caden. Caden, I'm Aiden. sure your looks will work perfectly on her. Um, Durgan, uh, don't mention the G word. Okay. The what word? It's fine, it's fine, don't mention it. <laughs> you guys are led to the base of the stairs as you are told at the courtyard that all weapons must be discarded. You will they will be returned to you at the end of this meeting. If anybody at this point in time would like to try to smuggle a weapon in or not discard a weapon. Please let me know now, and I will make you do a roll. Otherwise, all your weapons are considered drop for this. I'm really sorry for doing this, but Durka will not let go of his clan dagger. That is that is that is fair. To be perfectly honest with you, but do you hide it, or do you just he refuse? wouldn't hide that he is an audible dwarf sometimes. And he will show a pride that he will not let go of his dagger. Oh boy. Well, I respect no, it. no a it's sword, a, so. a clan dagger. Do you want to hide a sword? Is that I what you cannot. said? I don't, can you hide a sword? Uh, no, no, probably not. You can hide a dagger. <laughs> Sorry. You can try. We could all just die here. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Durgan, when they tell you to let go of your clan dagger, you need to either roll me a DC. What level are you guys? 16. DC 26 Two. diplomacy. Or you what Dirk has minus one in diplomacy to roll that? I am sorry. I aid? I am sorry. Can I aid? You can attempt to can I help? you can attempt can to roll a DC 21 yeah. check. Elijah, roll me your diplomacy first. Uh, um, that is a plus. We can we can role play in a second if needed, but this is a plus two to Durgan's diplomacy check. Durgan, roll me a DC twenty six diplomacy. You get a plus two modifier no. to this. You still need a net twenty. And he even hit it. I'm That's sorry to say this, but he will fail number one. He got minus one. You can you can succeed with a net twenty. Unfortunately, that is still a critical. I will failure. use a a hammer. Yeah. Bro yeah. If he fails it again. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Well, I, I, take, I take that because it makes <laughs> sense for our turn. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to just <laughs> like try and like defuse the situation uh, a little. Maybe. I Sorry. was actually going to chime in, um, real quick. Uh, because of the fact that Durgan is probably arguing with the guards now over the clan dagger. Um, he's, can I appeal it at least? Aiden's already. Um, uh. Aiden's already like gotten rid of his weapon. He's gonna look at Doug and be like, "Look, you can either wait out here and keep your clan dagger and wait down the street, and we could be gone for God knows how long, or you can just I... give the thing up but and you'll get it back. Stay here, then let go of the precious dagger from my sister home. You can't yes. let a dwarf let go of a family dagger. That is like telling him to die in a ditch while cutting his beard off." Yes, um, All right, well, de de Detective Lang, it's it's not quite as simple as that. It, um, well, from if I remember my studies in, in Absalom, um, in Dwarven culture, there it is um, a great sin, um, maybe even greater than word than a sin to simply part with one's clan dagger. It's uh, 
essential to who they are as a, as a dwarf. I, well, I thought Elijah, you might know that. He'll look at the, the kind of guards. The Elijah, guards this... are adamant, especially with that nat one. Sorry, Matt. Hmm. I would Elijah... say that, that, that Durgan has to stay outside, but he would just stay there grumbling, staring at the guard down. Guys, I don't want to roleplay too much here because I want to get to the queen and before our session ends, mm. before people have got to yeah. go. So... Yeah. So you certainly uh, you wouldn't separate an old man from his emotional support robot and also his modes of transportation. I'll slap it. Two bombs fall out. <laughs> Some tools and like sharp things. I'm just going to get off the beetle, I guess. <laughs> All right. Here's the resolution. Uh, we're just going to make this quick. Durgan, you, if you refuse to let go of your clan dagger and with that natural one diplomacy check, you're going to have to stay outside, unfortunately, which sucks. That is but, fine by me. You know, that is up so. All right. That's fine. Durgan, you are told to stay outside. Uh, you guys can argue with. Every way you want, there is no, there is no, yeah, yeah. there is no changing this. So, you are moved forward. Do you, do you want us to literally remove, like, put all the weapons down, or can we just say you can? We, we, you can say you put them down, guys. There's no, as long as you're not lying to, but like, that'll be dumb. It's like, oh, Pablo, I had this dagger all along. Please don't do that because that's dumb. All right. Do I smoke burning? Is it my sister again cooking? Sister, again. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, we might as well take this advantage while he's gone. No, I think Elijah. our role play is just too dumb. Fire, he can smell burning. Yeah. Elijah, oh, I understand that these aren't simple. T these, like, this isn't simple for Durgan, but these aren't simple times. A monarch just died. You really think they're going to let him in with a dagger, an unknown variable? Well, no, that's why he's waiting outside. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Uh, it's just... Oh, she's not actually burning something. So, anyway, um, uh, did I miss anything? I was on the No. Scene. Okay. Uh, so, a group of obviously nervous and well-armed guards with heavy crossbows and swords escort you up the castle. This is a sort of a pyramidal castle, obviously, uh, with wide stairs curling up to the castle's third floor, where you know the Crimson Throne awaits. Before I move you to this map, I'm going to give you an NPC you're going to meet with as you see a very... Uh, stern-looking woman dressed in magnificently... Uh, dressed in magnificent full plate armor. Uh, you, you can roll a high DC society to figure out who this is before she introduces herself to you. Do it now, por favor. That's been cool art. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. There we go. That's the rolls I'm used to. Nope. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll roll. Yeah, I'll roll. Nope. Feel like we need a twenty on this one, ladies Detective and gentlemen. Detective Lang, Hello. this is oh, the Queen's handmaiden bodyguard and seemingly her closest companion, Sabina Marin. All right. She will not introduce How herself as such, but you have you have heard of Sabina somewhere somehow. How would we what? Sorry. How would how would we like address her then? Like, what would we call her? Would we call her, like, Madame Marin or something? Milady, uh, I don't know the royal, but she's pretty much, you would address her the same as a queen, probably. Uh, or close, close enough. She will nod curtly to you all as you approach and say, Greetings. They tell me you have something that belongs to the queen. Is this correct? Yes, yes, it is. It is indeed. Um, an item of great value to Her Majesty. The uh, queen's brooch, my lady. Let me see it. Someone gonna show it to him? Aren't you the one with it? Oh no, it's Caden. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm Caden. Needing. I'm getting loads of of Pablo. I think this is why I called, we started. We changed my token to Detective Lang. Remember, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kept getting yeah. Aiden and Caden. Uh, Caden, do you show it? And then he like pulls it out. Ah, oh, my lady, here it is. 
she will smile when you show it. And she'll hold a hand to welcome you Actually, in. Mm -hmm. I have a, a, a question. Does she open her mask or can we, or does she leave the mask on? I'm going to say she leaves the mask on because I don't, I'm not going to scramble and find her other. Oh, fuck. Because she would smile, right? Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, I think, I don't know if I can find her other art right at this very moment. But That's just fine. assume that she is, you know. Yeah, I think that's her only art right now. Anyway, she uh, she might have some other art, but I'm not going to scramble to find it. So that's fine. Uh, but I will tr remind me at the start of next session. I will show her Sabina's other art. Yes. Um, regardless, uh, she will smile. And at this point, um, oh god, now I lost my page. There we go. Uh, she'll talk to the guards that are escorting you and say, You may return to your post. These heroes pose no threat to the queen. As the guards are... <clears throat> okay. Yes, my lady. As they'll stride off. Now, is that... All of you? She looks at everybody. Um, We have uh, one other waiting outside with your guards. He... Um... He is a dwarven fellow and would not part with his clan dagger. I can understand why he, uh, he would want to wait. I can understand why he wouldn't part with his clan dagger either. Um. Hmm. Guards. She, one of the guards. Yes. Bring the dwarf in. He poses no threat. Let him in with his dagger, please. Okay. Sure. Uh... You guys wait. Sabina's not going to small talk, so she'll wait here for a little bit uh, uh, as the guard runs off. They'll run off quickly, grab Durgan. Durgan, they're like, uh, you can come in with, with the dagger, yes. I I see someone finally got some sins. I know that they're all my culture. Yes, yes, well, well follow us, please. Uh, 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 they're waiting. Um, and... I can run fast with these short legs. Don't hurry me too much. <laughs> <laughs> a few minutes later, Durgan appears uh, with the guard out of breath. And I don't know if Durgan's out of breath, but, you know, up to you, Durgan. Uh, no, he, he's not. He, he just got short legs. Okay. Anyway, so they thought it was neurotoxic, but actually what it is is cytotoxic. It's just that it attacks receptors on... Um, 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 Festus, Festus, remember the conversation we had? This is one yeah, of the mm -hmm. Not the other mm -hmm. half. Yes, yes, I know, but so still, I'm going to place my fellow. waits with her visor on. You can't I wasn't really talking to her, I was talking to everybody around Tell her, her expression <laughs> as... You know what? You guys... Oh, God, I wish I had more time. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys Did have... Did a cliffhanger? Uh, I, maybe. I did want to end on a cliffhanger, so... I mean, um, what you could do is it's like, as we're as we're waiting, it's like we're walking and we can hear the click-clack of, like, heels or something. No, like, Sabina, with... Sabina, uh, I need a quick secret perception for everybody. Go. Just do it. Just secret perception. I'm really glad we went in combat this game, because those rolls we were rolling were fucking Oof. terrible most of the Bestest, time. Bestus, yeah. um, you rolled the highest, I'm just gonna give it to you, and um, actually, everybody rolled Damn well. Damn. Okay. Holy shit. These rolls. Why does the are, game contradict me? These rolls <laughs> are <laughs> amazing. Like everything's above a twenty. Nobody rolled below a twenty. Uh, on are you serious? The only time yeah. you rolled good. Uh, yeah. Nobody rolled. So all of you get a feeling, and also, um, she's appraising you as you guys are waiting there for a few minutes while Jurgen comes in. She is absolutely like dead on listening to every word you say, seeing every movement you do, and, you know, just, how do you guys act? Anybody act? I act like Festus, you know, talking about insects and the various ways in which their toxins can kill you is apparently the topic of conversation for him. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to cycle through people. Uh, go ahead, Elijah. How are you acting? Hmm... That's a good question. Would I ever have met the king or queen before? Would they ever have come to a performance? No. Not that kind of level. Okay. No. Um, I think he'll just try to polite small talk. Uh, 
with Sabina, just to try and distract her Sabina, from the rappers. Sabina is there. not engaging. I know she might just be ignoring me, but yeah. <laughs> it'll, just, it'll, just, it'll, it'll still give it an attempt of just... Um, was, um, have you ever been to one of my shows? Do you get much much time off at all? Even if she's just stonewalling him, he's just going to try and add a bit more she background She will be nice situation. enough to give you grunts and like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, but you don't get much information out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what I thought. Yeah. Uh, Yava, how are cool. you acting? Uh, Yava has a completely different demeanor. She is definitely full, like, service mode, business face, uh, like, hands clasped in front of her. Very demure. Uh, yeah, very quiet. Uh, Detective Lang? <sighs> Lang literally has a cigarette in his fingers. It's not lit. But it's like it's pretty clear that he just wants to light it as, um, as Festus keeps on talking to them about entomology, and he's just like his foot is just tapping, just going. Caden, how are you acting? He's gonna try to act like there's no, uh, try not to be noticed. He's gonna be like. Mm-hmm. Doesn't just... want his face to be recognized. As Durgan walks up, Durgan, how do you present yourself to Sabina as you make your way forward? Well, Durgan, well, he's not smug, he's happy. He's not showing the dagger he has it on him, but uh, you can see it on his build that is there. And he's just happy that uh, he's allowed to get in with his dagger on him. And he does show respect to the god. Even if he doesn't know who she is. With that, you round a corner as she leads you forward. <coughs> Sorry. As you all, and the grid isn't perfect, but deal with it. As you all enter the throne room. I'm going to play the throne room music on... Serenscape, so if you hear it, great. If you don't, I am very sorry. We'll try to get that fixed next session here. Throne room. There we go. Uh, pretend this chair is crimson. Yes, yes. Um, You will see Queen Iliosa sitting upon the crimson throne. She is a vision of beauty despite the black mourning dress and veil she wears in honor of her husband. Do you do, you do that, Aiden? No, I don't do that. Okay, <laughs> just, just, just double checking. Uh, a small <laughs> silver coffer sits in her lap. This throne room itself, while I use the generic battle map, I'll describe it though. An open area with a vaulted ceiling, stained glass windows of past kings and queens looking down from the wall, and crimson tapestries hanging along the other is pristine, pristine, but strangely empty. An immense fireplace offers additional light and heat to the hall, and a silk carpet, which is on the map, provides a gently arching path to the throne's base. Well, you can actually technically see the Crimson Throne on my webcam, maybe. And, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't ignore the... Uh, anyway, um, Sabina will grab the brooch from Caden's hands. Where's Sabina? Why is she up there? Oops. We'll grab the brooch from Caden's hands. I'm assuming you let go of it, Caden. As does. with a flourish, hands it to the queen. And you guys can move forward at this point in time. Uh, and if you'd be so kind, uh, move yourselves a respectful distance. And you, who would know to bow or kneel or whatever? Elijah, yeah. As Elijah walks up, he's going to bow. Not only bow, but he's going to take a knee as well. A uh, respectful I mean, distance. Durkin works not because of, yeah, you know, Roman culture and gods and such with the teachings. Would anybody uh, not? Lang's, yeah. Lang's going to like. Lang's gonna like start bowing, but he's gonna get like halfway over. He goes, <clears throat> like <laughs> old man, old man issues, you know. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, Yava. Yava has actually a a very uh graceful curtsy, and she will kind of curtsy and keep her head bowed in the position. Caden. Uh, he's gonna bow, like trying to keep his face 
from being seen by the by the queen. So he's like trying to make sure his head's lower than than uh, Elijah's. And hey, uh, just for fun, Caden, for both the queen and Sabina, who was staring at you earlier, roll me a public deception or stealth roll. Okay. Public deception or stealth. Not twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. I'd be right back. I need to open the door to the garden. Sorry, my uh, dog is. Caden, that is dirty. a. Guys, Caden, that Sorry. is a critical failure. Oh, oh boy. What? That's one high ass DC. <laughs> oh, that is like, boy. These guys are like, what, well, then, like level seven they or something? They absolutely notice. This is meta knowledge, but they know what you look like. Yeah. You know? So. Um, the queen. We'll address you at this point as you all bow and yeah i'm on a nate oh yeah sorry festus thing. festus my bad yeah uh, how, how, yeah so it's important to note that festus is wearing armor that's much 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 too heavy for him mm -hmm. so he goes to bow and i think on a 10 acrobatics he falls down <laughs> and then comes the real fun part i can't get up <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> okay. I yeah. fall and hit I can't get up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on. Uh the queen just waits and Sabina will also wait until somebody helps Festus. They just wait quietly. <laughs> Somebody Dirk stands up and looks at Festus. Get up, you fool! This is the monarch. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't know if you've noticed that I'm old and weak he, at the same time. <laughs> he get, just takes and tries to put you up again. Yeah, I'm assuming with think, with help. Yeah, yeah. I think absolutely. my absolutely. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this is that both me and Aaron have basically made the two old guys look like invalids, like <laughs> just old weak men. The queen will start addressing you. This brooch was stolen from me some time ago. I had not expected to see it again, truth be told. And yet, here on my darkest day, you come before me with kindness. The return of this brooch is much more than an honorable deed. It is inspiration. It is hope. I love Corvosa as my husband did before me. His death has shocked the city as it has me, but I will not see his legacy destroyed in death, and I shall not see my city torn apart. All of Corvosa stands at the precipice of a disaster wrought by her citizens. These riots cannot continue. You have already done my heart a great service in returning this precious heirloom to me on this dark day, and you shall be rewarded. Is there anything you wish to ask of me? Is there anything you would like to inquire as a reward? Please, I give you permission to speak. Elijah will lift his head up. Um, Your Majesty, um, first thank you for having an audience with us on such a difficult day. Um, I have one question. Um, I have a dear friend of mine, Trinia. She was here the day if when I you think say your late husband. Your late husband you passed say, away. Trinia, Is she safe? Sabina and Queen Iliosa make a quick glance at each other. She lifts a finger, and all the guards shing 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 pull out their swords. As Queen Iliosa will sit back, and Sabina steps forward and says, "You know Trinia." What do you know of her? I've 
uh, the light just kind of just stumbles over its words a little bit, seeing weapons have been drawn. I, I've known her since I returned to Corvosa. I've known her a couple of years. She's a wonderful artist and a great person. Silence, She's says a... Queen Iliosa. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh -oh. Trinia is the person that killed my husband. No! No, there's no way she would never do such a thing. Um, um, wait, wait, wait. As, as, as she says that, that, that um, um, when you might go to the left, left at the guards of swords, sword, to the right, right to the guards of sword, 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 sword. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of want to call the session on the cliffhanger, but I think Elijah still wants to, uh, so let, let's, 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 hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a good time to call it, I don't know, is, is this, yeah? Yeah, or did you want to say something, Elijah? I don't know. Uh, no, Elijah will just be protesting her innocence at this point. Fair enough. There's, there's no chance she would never hurt a fly. Not Trinia. What uh, evidence do you have? What what proof? What? Uh, just anything. Sabina will shout, Silence! Shall not question the queen. The queen has a slightly irritated look on her face as she says... Do you question me? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. This, this is truly shocking news. One that I can't personally believe. And apologize if I was out of line and out of order. I'm brought with emotions. I'm sure you don't have to. I don't have there to tell you. There shall be a fair trial. But for now. She is in the dungeons, and there she will remain. Sabina will question you. Dun, dun, dun. Sabina, please question them after to make sure they were not involved in this conspiracy. Now we shall turn to other matters. What reward would you seek of me? For bringing back the brooch. A resurrection scroll. Done. Yeah. I'm right. with that. something as well. Those are expensive. We'll, 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 we'll talk about we'll, it. We'll, we'll figure we'll it out. About we'll, it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Uh, she will say. I've got one roll that I want to do. Okay. Because this is so far back. But when I. I don't know what the equivalent is, but like an insight check when she talks about in her speech about her being really upset about her husband's death and like how crushed she is. Mm -hmm. Does that ring true? You can roll me a secret perception for an insight check. Ooh. A sense motive. Yeah. There you go. Can I do it too? You absolutely can. <laughs> Yava, as far as you can tell, she seems devastated. Okay. Yeah, this is a great session. Um, as far as you can tell, also I'm Kate, really loving it. Yeah, she's. Um, what's the normal? What's the normal price we would have sent you? Like the full session price, twenty five. Twenty five, yeah. I'll send you twenty five because I basically got my half an hour extension I, with my discount. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, Queen Iliosa will say done to the resurrection scroll. You guys know this is a hundred and fifty plus gold reward, which is, um. Being perfectly honest, more than what you would what you would be uh, expecting. So, well, we'll stop it here, uh, Durgan. If you had something, we can discuss it in chat or something. Uh, because you yeah, it would work for more perfectly enough. He he will mention the G word. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, okay. That's that's fine. Well, we'll get to the next session, guys. We, uh, people got to go. So stop recording here. Yeah, I got Thank you. Uh...